Hey, it's Russ Payne with Role Playing Bubble Radio. This is Savage World, Savage Riffs, Woo! Symphony so of the savage. End, episode 18. In the last episode, the Mew Squad went on a little detour into hell. And they came back. It was fine. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was great. What they had a lovely remember. time. Yeah. Hey, we had well, a- they recovered. They rescued Stetson, the albatross. Uh, the magic albatross, who was sent to hell from <laughs> Cranberry Ball Yeah, he's an albatross. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Well, well he's an ocean wizard. What other kind of bird is he going to get? Yeah, no. I mean, I guess a seagull, but, yeah. you know. That's a bird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a bird. A seabird. So, we have three agents here of the Mew Squad, three soldiers. Of course, led by Steve. Yes. Uh, who is now Steve. appointed his second in command? Yes. Who have you appointed? I have appointed. So, what's your character's name? <laughs> it's been, it's been a it's while. Been wow. Daryl. It's like Daryl is now yeah. the second in command. No, that, that's great leadership. That, that's really, what was your name again? Yeah, we've been working, we've been fighting side by side for like, you know. Months now. What's your name? Yeah, that's that's great management. I mean, material. honestly, I don't. I, until I saw. Yeah, it's awesome. Character. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. I forgot David's character's name until I just saw it. Well, you don't often interact. Yeah, yeah. They're the other the the other team. So yeah. So before we get into the mission, this session, why don't we get with the uh, vignette? So the vignette for Daryl is going to be. Yeah. How do you tell? How first off, Steve? How do you tell Daryl the news that he's going to be second in command? That you want him second in command? Like. Like, hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, yeah, just working on my fashion. Oh, my excellent. My solitary hobby thing that gives me meaning, and I'm glad that I'm not distracted from. Absolutely. They, that is amazing. Hey, you know, like, you know what? I was thinking, you know, things that are awesome, like your work is awesome. You know what else? You know, you know what else I think would be awesome? I want, you, I work. Would, no, I want you to just, just kind of picture this mm-hmm. Ensign Daryl. Is that an album? title that no that's you baby you are the you're gonna be our team second in command second in one now yeah you're gonna be second in command sounds good cool. i mean team leader <laughs> oh and is it and, and our, our fearless leader can i say no well here's the thing you could <laughs> but believe it or not i've actually thought about this and my choices were 44 he's a great guy Mm-hmm. We like him. He's not command material. And then there's Cranberry. I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> and he just got his familiar back from hell. He's totally leadership material. Yeah. Like then we have our then we have our courageous side stalker. Great guy, I mean, great in a fight. But he is not a leader. He's someone. He's someone that can. That's excellent. I don't at, have battle. <laughs> like he's someone that is, that is excellent at carrying out. Oh, instructions. that's not a problem. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, it's a skill that you need as a leader, but you could still be like, promoted and, without it. And you know, like you know that tech wizard we had like once. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in so long. I don't know what he's doing. I think he went through the portal to the library. That might be it. That might be it. Then there was that android. I think he's dating that vampire. You met. Oh yeah. Like. <laughs> then, there was, then there was that. Then there was that android, who was. I, I don't know what happened to her either. Yeah. Which leaves you the only person I think that has command potential. When you put it like that, everybody else sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> like oh, I thought about it. Believe me, I've been racking my brain for some time, and every single time I run a scenario, it comes around right around to the same conclusion. Just. Like, probably not, nope, and hell no. <laughs> and then they're gone. Then they're gone, yeah. Leaving only you with command potential. Leaving only you, yeah. <laughs> so it's not so much, it's not so much, well, I mean, you are qualified, but I have to have a second in command for the team now. And you are the only person I would dare ask for that. Oh, well, I guess I can, in fact, fog a mirror. There you go. You, I don't know what it is. Some I had some kind of brain thing, and I'm thinking more. <laughs> it was weird. Brain thing. All right. Yeah. Now, out of character, like I raised my my smarts to D six. So he was literally racking. But his yeah, brain. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something it's, happened. Like I don't know. Exercising what it, that muscle. Yeah. <laughs> we, I think we talked about that out of the game. I was like, oh, I raised my strength to D6. So he's like sitting there like, yeah, keep pumping the, keep pumping the books. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Yeah. So, Daryl, you you get a promoter. You're now an officer. You're an ensign. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're second in command. If anything happens to Steve, you'll be promoted <laughs> and take over for the Muse Squad, which is now given a lot more latitude because of your your string of successes. Tomorrow Legion's so happy with all of you that they want to make sure that it keeps going. As long as those consequences never show up, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what consequences? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, look at it. Black Hawk. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. Don't worry. We're going to reset reality for any of that's a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that reality shattering, altering power of the Symphony of the End and just mm-hmm. use that to negate your consequences. Yeah. So. That's exactly how Ross runs his games. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So, the. Yeah, you're, so your vignette is first off, you do have a lot of paperwork to do. Yep. Right? It is a, a at a, at a, any other organization. There's a level of bureaucracy and stuff like that. So and but then you know you you actually start talking to Ragnar Thunderax and other people th- about developing your career as a career officer of the Tomorrow Legion. And um, yeah, so like this is more like like Daryl. How are you reacting to this? Are you like rising the challenge, just doing the absolute minimum, getting back to the, what studio when you can, sacrificing sleep? You're, that's what you're doing. Yeah, the, yeah. the absolute minimum. Yeah. Yeah. The doing is doing whatever I need to do in order to try to get back to the studio and at least feel like I'm making progress. Okay. Yeah. Roll bigger check. Vigor. Vigor. Yeah. See how, see how much sleep you lose. Uh, how, how much you can. Oh, not great. Nope. Yeah. You are having a bad time of it. This is not. You're not adjusting bad well. Time. Having a bad time. You make very little progress on your album because at this point it's it's not even about you know at this but this is the this is the unfun part of making an album you you've done all the creative fun things this is all the work of listening to the same fucking track a hundred times and like should how should I alter the mix should I put the the vocals a little higher should I do this should I do that what if I do this you know and just again and again and again and re-recording things and just bits of instrumental it's tedious it's the it's the 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 part that they don't tell you about when you like want to be a musician and you're making and because of your sleep losing so much sleep from doing all this extra paperwork and other shit so you your your progress is like maybe five percent closer like it's just you 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 should be a lot you you we, you thought you'd be a lot farther along than you are so now that you so that's as it is you got this promotion. You have to deal with paperwork. What? How are you going to cope with this? Are you just going to like double down and do the best you can? Are you going to find a shortcut? Uh, are you going to compromise in one area or the other? Are you going to try and outsource some of this shit? Like, like, uh, give me academics. I'll use that for bureauc- bureaucratic knowledge. Oh, are you pretty good at this? Yeah, fourteen. Okay, well, you know a lot. You you do realize. The Tomorrow Legion's bureaucracy is mostly run by people who are good-hearted and are trusting, especially if it's military officers, which you realize you could, mm, you get all, you, 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 mm, yeah, if you want to, if you want to cut corners, boy, you can. If you want to outsource to other people, boy, you can. You could, there's a lot of options, so. And, yeah, you get to go to the officer's mess now. So the 14, a couple things you can do. One, you could just cut corners and. Do the absolute minimum work. No one will notice or pay attention unless something goes wrong. In which case, you can get back to the studio, do that. Everyone will be happy. It's fine. As long as nothing bad happens. Two, you could requisition more help. Recruit some people to do the paperwork for you. And instead of them doing other things, they're now just doing your paperwork, your job for you. But you, with a 14, you could totally do that and justify it. And make it see, and then get back to the studio. Um, or three, you could let's see, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, you, if you want to be really evil, you could be like, like, oh, I could, like, this studio is a military, <laughs> you, you could get more studio, you could, you, you could have them build a studio for you. But yeah, those first two options really come to mind. Uh, the third option would also be just re- requisitioning other player characters to help you with the paperwork and bureaucracy. Uh, you can give orders now, yeah. So, what are you thinking? Did we re- didn't we effectively recruit the GRPG squad? A GRPG squad to do what? To help with the paperwork? To so join the Tomorrow Legion. Who are they again? They were from. They were one of the mercenary groups that we. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they're mercenaries though. Yeah, they're not bureaucrats. They're not clerks. You would be getting like locals, like just civilians, and hiring them to do paperwork to keep the Muse Squad running and all that jazz. So, 
<laughs> so yeah, that that would be the not not soldiers, but like civilians. You know, yeah, paper push. I'll, I'll recruit some. Okay, some clerks. Okay, yeah. So that that'll be your vignette. What kind of wh- who are you looking for? Uh, well, who's your ideal candidate? It'd be human, alien, young, old, idealistic, burned out, veteran. Mystic. Yeah. And you're not going to get like the cream of the crop, right? You're not no. that prestigious, but you'll get some people who need a job. I want a DB that's old for their age, for their species and fucking hates the coalition. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you get, what's a fun DB species? So let's see here. Yeah, an old... The Finodi? Huh? The Finodi. No, I'm thinking just like generic kind of like tropes. So you get like an orc barbarian type. Let's see here. His name is Cassius. Uh, Cassius, yeah, 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 yeah. Cassius. Cassius the Orc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're very rich. That's a callback. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cassius the Orc. Lost a lot of members of the tribe to the coalition, but he's too old to fight. But he, you know, you sign him up <laughs> and you're like... He's, he's, he's like, yes, I will fight. I will do whatever it takes to help the Tomorrow Legion fight the coalition. I will do whatever you ask of me. What is it? I will give him the requisition forms I have apparently been asked to process. Can you, I need help making sure these are correct. Yes. I shall proofread mightily. Yeah, yes. Logistics are the key of <laughs> any army. And this That's how we took down the Nixon. Yes, you are the yes. I have heard. Yes, I will do this paperwork for the here the slayers of the Nixon. Yes, that is a, a worthy of a warrior. Yes, but yeah, he's very committed to it. So yeah, you recruit Cash as the orc as a clerk. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, you ask if there's any you know like missions that you're. If there's ever a mission where you don't think they'll come back, let me know. I'll be. It would be my warrior's duty to. I would. I do. I do not. It, it, yeah, so he talks a lot about warrior codes and ideals and things mm-hmm. like that, but yeah. All right, so yeah, that's your best. I start rhyming a few of them in my head for feature lyrics. <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> Get inspiration from your daily life, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Vance. Yeah, yeah, the Black Vault, it's in Chicago's or in chi somewhere. Your lead was... Chi-Town Burbs. There was like... The Vanguard, yeah, I was a member of the Vanguard. Did we give them a name? No, I don't think so. Okay. And I've also made the deal with the traveling carnival. Oh, Ma Barker, I think. Yeah. 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 So. I don't know her name, but yeah. Yeah. So I think with you at the Black Vault, yeah, you have a lead and we'll pull that trigger as a full episode. Yeah. So yeah, you can continue working on laying the groundwork for that. So yeah, you can build up other informants and snitches and contacts in the area. So if you want to work on that, I could have something for you. Or is there anything else you want to do? You want to do more groundwork for Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead. All right. So groundwork, you want to recruit a guy. You want to, well, not necessarily a guy, but like someone to go up and like do some prep work for you. Like, like either a safe house, a weapons cache or a supply cache or just more Intel. Like out of those three things. A supply, yeah, like I say, yeah, like a safe house. Could it be like, like I've, I've got that guy, like kind of casing the place or whatever? Yeah, he'll go up and rent a place, and, and he'll, he'll keep eye on it. Yeah, yeah, and he'll give you, he'll let you know, and it basically make sure that it's there's no heat around it. Yeah, and he'll stay away from it. He'll watch it, but he won't go into it. So it'll be like no one's there. So, so the question is, so you need somebody to do that for you. Yep. So for you, because of your trusted member of the music squad, trusted member of the Tomorrow Legion, you. Who would you try to recruit for that? Like, you have access to a lot of... I can give you some ideas if you can't think of something, but like... Well, I'm thinking like someone just very nondescript and... Uh, yeah, well, it's not like that... Like, made contact... Well, like, like, why would they do this for you? Uh, like, why would they do this for you? This is a r- pretty risky thing. Because basically, they're, yeah, it's not super... There's risk. Like, they have to travel all the way to Chi-Town and you go to a shitty neighborhood and, and buy a place or rent a place. And yeah, maintain contact. Um, okay. Well, so, like, who would be willing to go well, out? What I'm or... thinking is someone who's, you know, had kind of a rough patch with, like, law enforcement. Maybe he's lost his job mm-hmm. and maybe wants to kind of get an in in a, in a similar place like the Tomorrow Legion. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do to find that? You could use academics to go through the Tomorrow Legion bureaucracy yeah, or research. lore. Yeah, research. Oh, research is perfect. Yeah, big money. You know what? News. Oh wow, I'm re-rolling that. That was really bad. Now we're not rolling it like that again. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, I got a whole three. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. What the, I don't, no, you're at the Tomorrow Legion. You get a plus one bonus. Yeah. You have access to all their shit. So, you get a guy. Tom, hmm? describe a person who's in trouble with the Tomorrow Legion. Not like life or death, but someone they could definitely cut a deal with. Someone who's in trouble with them? Mm-hmm. In custody. Ooh. Not life or death shit, not a murderer. Mm-hmm. Not a, not a spy. Well, so it could be like good for like... But a scumbag. Guys. Yeah, scumbag. Yeah. Simbavan has been poaching. Okay. As someone who's going to go undercover into the coalition territory, which they would... Simbavan can do in the burbs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or Simbavan who's been poaching. All right. We'll call him... Dan, what's a good name for a monstrous poacher? Like, Simavan are kind of like carnivorous ape men uh, in terms of the description, but they're really good at taming monsters and riding them, so they're called monster riders. But, like, this guy get caught as a poacher in Tomorrow Legion territory. Like, what's a good name for someone like that? It could just be the name he goes by to humans. So it could be a human name. Rex. Rex. All right, you get Rex. He's got a scar. From when a, uh, a di- he says a dinosaur or a T-Rex, like, you know, nearly ate him in Dinosaur Swamp. He was caught poaching. He's looking at, like, five years in cyber jail. I'm sure that, that's a thing. Very, very nice. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's like... Savage jail. Yeah, make the pitch to him. You get a plus two on whatever role you make for this, but yeah. <clears throat> All right. I mean... You're in yeah. like an like a like an interrogation room. Yeah, you can have him in an interrogation room. You could take him out to the fucking bar and just okay. yeah, show him your nice yeah. side. Yeah. Where do you want him? Yeah, no, I want him in the interrogation. Room. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna walk in there with like this big stack, making it look like there's a lot more paperwork in here, and then actually is there. Just flipping through it silently as mm-hmm. I'm walking around the room, and he's you know handcuffed to the table, and I'm gonna do that for like. I don't know, a good 15, 20 minutes. Just kind of sweat. Oh, he, he gets very... He is, you, you just t- kind of make these kind of subtle noises. Of- what, what, what's that say? Come on. What is this? Oh, damn. <laughs> we mean, oh, damn. That's nasty. What are you, what are you, what, I'm not... Come on. Come on. What, what, talk to me, man. What, what, what's going on there? Like, what, what, what's up? What's up? You're not... You, you don't read cop? Like, what's going on here? Come on, man. Ex- I got rights. You're supposed to ex- say... So after about, like, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I finally look at him. Yeah, and I put the put it down just out of reach. Just sweat it down on the table. He leans over to look at it. He can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's not for your eyes. But I can kind of give you the gist of what this says. Uh, five years in cyber jail. <laughs> well, that's what we're calling it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is uh, yeah? What is cyber jail? Well, I'm gonna make it up. Okay, like it's way worse. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not anything I wish on my worst enemy. You know, look at me. I'm a size stalker. I go around, yeah. you know, taking the souls of others. I'm not exactly someone, you know, who yeah. scares easy. But man, I am glad I'm not in that place. But, whew, you know, I mean, some people have made it through, all right. And they made it through in one piece. Oh, you kind of missing a little bit of your face, though. You know. I mean, I'm a hunter. I do that. Like, it yeah. happens. I, well, I'm still here, though. You should see the other... You should see the... Well, you can't see the T-Rex. I, I killed it. Hmm. Ate part of it. Yeah, ate part of it. Come yeah, on. So... Yeah. Well, I don't... Five years, you know, yeah. you know, you could be pretty good. But, you know, I mean, you're not exactly going to come out on top or anything like that. Uh, and, and, you know, it could change a man in a lot of different ways. And... But... I've also read some other things in here. Seems like you've got some skills, sure. Uh, that I could, I could call on, and maybe I could make a word. You know, put in a word, get you uh-huh. out. Of- I see. Okay, I'm not gonna rat anyone out. Oh no, no, oh. I'm not looking for anything with your past dealings. I'm trying to get someone with a particular set of skills. Yeah, I'm <laughs> totally <use that. laughs> All right, and then look into this this place I got up. In the in the burbs of the Shy Town burbs. Fuck the burbs. Yeah, and I need someone to go up there and just kind of be some eyes and ears for me. Okay, yeah, make it roll. The better you do on it, yeah, the more yeah. time I can get cut off your sentence. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. you could start off with a better life. We can maybe even wipe 
and I toss I toss it in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> we can wipe it all clean. Yeah, plus two. So a persuasion, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I mean that's a yeah. Yeah. Well, you can make any, any which way. It's all d six. Okay, yeah. So. Maybe I guess it doesn't matter. That's so six. Okay, yeah. Oh, you give me offer. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have to shoot anyone, will I? No, nothing like okay, that. Okay, yeah, no, I thought. No. Okay, yeah, you I look like you're capable. Of defending yeah, I've been, I've been there before. Kidding. I've been there a couple times for a couple deals. It's not great, you know, but you keep your head down. Yeah, sure. I'm your, I'm, I'm your, I'm your boy. You, you get me out of here. I'll, 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 I'll be your Huckleberry. Sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you got yourself uh, Rex. You know he'll he'll be your agent. He'll he'll go there and set up a safe house. He's your Uggleberry, and you can have you can message him anytime. You get like a smart legion sets you with encrypted uh, comms, a little radio, a couple other methods. You go through some tradecraft stuff. Okay. Yeah, as long as he's you know keeps it. So you can give me a notice check. Okay. Just kind of read this guy. I forgot if there's no intuition or empathy skill, is that? Um, okay. 11? Oh, yeah. Well, when you, when you read this guy, he is... Yeah, I mean, he's an adrenaline junkie more than anything else. But, like, he's also an opportunity. He's not like... There's a, there's a mix of him that's adrenaline junkie, loves the thrill, and there's also, like, I'm a lazy opportunist. So he's not focused enough to be a truly great hunter or writer. Uh, but he's, he's got enough ta- raw potential to kind of skate. You know, like... Gifted kid syndrome, you know, you're really good as a kid and then you kind of coast on that. Yep. And so he, he's, he's not mean, but he's not, you know, no introspective. No, no. Yeah. He, he, he's young. He's not thoughtful. He's not thoughtful. Uh, and he, he's not, you know, malicious, but he doesn't give a shit except from, he looks out for himself. So yeah, he'll if you tell him to go up there and set up a safe house, that'll that'll keep him busy for a while. You do realize after he sets up the safe house, he's gonna get kind of bored. bored. Yeah, unless you keep him busy with shit, and you need to keep rewarding him and like yep. talking to him and letting him know he's making a good thing. And he, you know, like what does that mean that he needs yeah, motivated. yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, he's a good boy. You get it? You're boy. probably yeah. This is not too dissimilar to baby. Uh, uh, you you've met people like this before, so yeah. So, but yeah, you got that. You, you, he'll, he'll travel up there and set that up. Yeah. All right. So, and then finally, Steve. Uh, yeah, we'll do your cooking thing eventually. But yeah, and you're still training for it. And let's see. You have to do. You have to do a lot of paperwork too. Actually, as a leader, yeah. did we? Did I give you any assets to sort of manage? Or like, what, what do you want from the? Like, as you're doing well enough that like you can requisition things from the Tomorrow Legion now. So you have your own little section of the base. Or did I give you a section or your own little building? Own my own building. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. What are your prerogatives as a, as now the leader of the Muse Squad and the you know the person like, in charge of this little operation? Essentially, like, well, the, the primary purpose of our group is to make sure we have we get as many of the Muses as possible mm-hmm. and keep them away from everyone else. So I'm I'm actually I'm currently trying to like. Put together all the info, we, all the intel we have on the muses that are currently out of our reach. Okay, like uh, the ones that have, the ones that have been found by other groups. Okay, yeah. What do you want to roll for that? He still wants his death now, muse. He does. You're only saying that because it's true. <laughs> you want your own Metalocalypse episode? A wicked, a wicked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I will. I will do that soon. <laughs> not, not this episode, but yeah. Will that be battle. Sure, you can do that. I'll roll battle. All right. I, yeah. All right. Thank you. God. So many dice. Yep. Uh huh. You know, like for gamers or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. OMG. Look at her butt. All right. You went there, Ross, not me. I like big butts. I cannot lie. That's <laughs> um, I enjoy can't. large posteriors. And, yes. I cannot speak false. Anytime I hear somebody say, I, I say, oh my God. I just think of that line. Yeah. yeah. That song for mom, all my students were writing the other day. Like it was just that old 80s Pandora station. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, like, one of the students was like, I don't even understand what this is. She's like, the play their head. Yeah, and it was funny, and I was like, "Really? Like you don't know this song? Like, come on! Everybody else is 
I mean, kids don't know any. They don't know anything that happened before. Well, the thing is, most of them did know okay. the thing, and and she's just like, I can't even understand what it's saying. And I just started saying in like the most monotone voice. I like, yeah. started saying the song. Out loud. You need to have them listen to the Jonathan Cole cover, <laughs> the acoustic cover. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's real. Got an eight. Okay. Yeah, with an eight, um, you call I'm actually, it. And I'm actually doing one of those boards. Oh, sure. Well, that's what you realize is that you, you're you're good at it, but you you should requisition some people, oh, some staff to help you. Mm-hmm. So kind of like Dan or Daryl here. What kind of yeah? You can requisition some staff. So who are you going to be looking for? Thinking like some like an intelligence officer. Okay. Because none of us are that. Mm-hmm. So just you know, kind of someone like an. No, I'm rolling around D8 smarts. All right, with your, with your eight, you you know the officer pool, and there's a number of candidates who would be interested in it. But you have to like they have to accept, mm-hmm. so you have to make a pitch to them. So your ideal candidate, where are they at in their career? What kind of skills and abilities, the experiences do they have? I actually, I think I'm I think I'm going to have to go because it's the same thing that happened to me. You know, like the talent, you know, the talented young young person that you want a young okay. That has a lot of raw talent, but no one's kind of given okay given a job to yet. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, someone straight out of academy, basically, mm-hmm. or the equivalent thereof. All right, sure. Uh, there's a couple so of them. Hungry for... I'll say there are three candidates. We'll, we'll come up with names, but the the three profiles you have are idealistic, straight A's by the book. B is came to this late in life. And has a lot of wasteland experience, but is pretty cynical mm-hmm. uh, for a newcomer. You know, in fact, they're 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 joining the Tomorrow Legion, but they're more cynical. His name is Mo. Yeah, uh, and three is a uh, fuck it, a yeah. dragon hashling who has got a bit of a focus problem. Okay. They're a couple of years old, so they're they're dragon hashling. They're very smart, but like getting them to stay focused on a task is kind of a job in of itself. But God it's a dragon. It. God damn it, Ross. You would give me that choice, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to make it easy for you. So, yeah. In fact, you could, yeah, uh, you, you could try to recruit two of the three, but that will pretty much kind of, you're getting, you're going to like one of them, the other officers, the other people will be fine. Play them off each other. There's, there, like, any large organization has office politics, right? Mm-hmm. You, you get, you recruit two of these up and comers who are all being eyed at by all the different divisions of the Tomorrow Legion. There, you're going to piss off some people. I think of the odd couple scenarios of the street least fresh academy kid and the dragon. Animal. That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so you're the way the, the cynical wastelander, you're like, fuck you. I don't yeah, dude, I, dude, we got enough. I got enough of them in my group. <laughs> okay, let's see. You want to recruit both of them? Okay, all right. So, the, the academy person, was, human, just human, human. Okay, yeah. she, yeah, she, she's by the book. I'll, I'll say she she comes from a world where superheroes are real, and uh, yes. she she got trapped here and is making the most of it. She used to be a news reporter. Yeah, there we go. Her name is Lois. And, I was gonna go with yeah, April. No, I was gonna go with Lori because I was trying to play on the Larry Curly Mo bit. No, I'm, I'm come on. We're, we're classy here at RPF. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just straight up steal. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Lo- Lois is an original character. Uh, shut up. So anyways, Lois is very idealistic, very type A, you know, person. Not great at spelling. Uh, Perky. Yeah. You know, kind of oh, no, she, 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 she's very good. She used to be a news reporter. She, she writes, mm-hmm. yeah. The thing is with Lois. I she was good. Uh, well, whatever. No, she was um, So, yeah. So Lois is okay. there. She, what's your pitch to Lois? Well, I oh like good, good morning. I was like good morning. Like, just doing like an interview. Mm-hmm. Like Lois, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Is it just Lois? She gives you a last name that is not Lang. Lois Longitude. Lo- <laughs> Lois Langford. Yeah. Like, like I understand. Like, yeah, I understand. Like I, like I understand. You're kind of a stranger in a strange land here. Yes, but it's it's fine. My world is. I'll be able to go back home. I think in about ten years. Do you? Uh, this will be the story. Yeah, according you could, you could get a Pulitzer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guy right coming back aliens. with his. Do you know detail. what a Pulitzer is? Right, think about aliens. Yeah, no. yeah. So according to right. the scientists here at the Tomorrow Legion, my my temporal my dimensional distortion will fade in about ten years, and I'll be able to breach that barrier and go back home. Oh, fantastic! So I'm just here covering it, but like you, you save my life, and I, I'm I'll sign up for the duration. So we made a deal. So, and I aced your cat, the academy here at the. the oh, academy. yes, I heard. Wonderful yeah. scores. Thank you. Like, so, have they told you what we're doing here? Well, uh, there's been so many rumors. There have been so many stories. Like, like you, you, you downed the Nixon 
Uh, we did do that. Yeah, you you've liberated a town from you know coalition assault, or you you defended it from a coalition assault. You broke people out of prison. There have been a lot of there have been a lot of stories, and yeah, there's all these rumors about these muses. Yes, right. well, we are muse squad. Yes. So yes, yeah, so that is what we are doing. We are currently trying to recruit and bring in muses of various musical genres. Yeah, I know, I know it sounds like a bad. Well, I'll get a full brief in if I draw. Yes. So. It's like, so what we need is we have all kinds of information. We have many are many that are already here. I'm sure you might have met some of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of them are wonderful. Others are a little weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, you didn't hear that from me. But what we need is help collating all the information we have on those that are currently in the hands of undesirable groups. Coalition, the Federation of mm -hmm. Magic, Splugorth, I'm sure, have probably have one by now mm -hmm. because we cannot allow we cannot allow them them to be in the hands of others who would use them for nefarious purposes right and that what we need is help collating all the data that we currently have and that we will eventually have coming in okay i'll join on one condition hmm. uh, i want to go into the field every so often Checker scores, like, is there anything on field work? Yeah, I mean, that's you have, you have to do that. You have to, like, pass a combat course and rep of proficiencies, armor training. Like, she, she's she been in simulated battles and that, that kind like, of thing. Oh, you want to be, like, a war... Not, not, not like all war, the time. A war correspondent. Well, I need to see you actually rescue a muse. Um, and so I need to go in the field at least a couple of times. Well, I'm sure we can arrange that. Okay, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not like a like a, a, a frontline fighter or a wizard or, or a powerful warrior like you. Well, just, but like, just know that when I we can go, hold my own. Yeah. But just when we go out, there's going to be violence. Yeah, no, they issue me body armor and a weapon. So, oh, you pew pew, there. Like, oh, you sweet innocent child. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure that'll be all you need. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. know that when you're in the field, you follow my commands exactly. Of course. And my second in command as well. Yes. Yeah, obviously. I, I'm he a team will not player. use you for anything nefarious, I promise. I, 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 I know. You, you have a great reputation. So, yeah. So she signs up, but she wants to see action. Yeah, so. Very well. Now, yeah, she'll need some time to acclimate to not this session, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the, let's see here. The dragon's name is, let's see here. Great Horn Dragon Hatchling? Uh, sure, yeah. yeah. And he, his name is Hellslayer. Right. That's a fascinating name. How did you get that? Well, I was born and like I was wandering around and like in an hour I was fighting demons and I killed a lot of them. Well, that that's pretty I was typical. born in Federation of Magic territory. Well, that's pretty typical. Well, no, not no, no. I mean, like I killed a lot. No, no, being born and you're fighting. Oh, yeah. That's but, yeah. I've yeah, many many babies shoot guns here. Yeah. Well, I'm like 4 years old. I'm I'm, you know. It says here you're 2. Well, that's that's clearly a typo. I'm four. You sure? Yes, I know how old I am. Okay, well then I'll just I'll correct it. Look, if you don't want me, that's fine. I mean, like, oh no, like it's I've been, I've been looking at you. I think you're going to be a wonderful addition to the team. Well, here's the thing: the reason I every every single officer has made their pitch to me to join their division, and you know, and I've been thinking about it. I actually get some choice, but here's the thing: you wanted me as an intelligence officer, as a behind the scenes analyst, right? Yes. Every other division just sees me as a fucking altern a, a tank that you just have to feed instead of, a, you know, having to repair. Like, I don't want to be viewed as like a heavy weapons platform. Or uh, Your uh, job here will be to collate data and help us uncover locations. Great. And right. I would love to make it to adulthood. And I feel if I keep doing risky Oops, combat six. missions. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the less action I see, the better. Well, you're you're an intelligence officer, so we you're you are going to be needed right here. Great, great. I'm happy to do that. You're just as long as you keep your word, we'll. we'll I mean, happy. look, if you're ordered by Ragnar or somebody else, obviously, and I'll defend the base if there's infiltrators or saboteurs. Of course, I'll treat it like my lair. But you know, I I don't want to. I don't want to be like, well, we need the dragon strength. Only that, yeah, uh, that, that, yeah. Although I do, I I have some, a couple of follow up questions. Okay. One, do we, I apologize, I'm you the first dragon I've ever spoken to. Oh, yeah. Do you require a horde of some kind? Don't worry, my pay covers that. I'm not I'm okay, not weird good. about it. 
Okay, good. I didn't if you know if you would need a space for that. No, they give me living quarters and everything. So okay, good, good, good. And two, is there like do you prefer to go around as you are, or do you have a specific 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 form you normally take? I mean, honestly, I like me. I don't like having to disguise myself. That's another reason why I want to stay behind lines because I don't have to like go undisguised. If you wish to be, if you wish to be your true self this whole time, I have no problem with that. Yeah, it's fine. Like. There's Dragon Slayer juicers out there, but like here, this place is safe enough that I don't have to worry about assassins or bounty hunters or coalition hit squads or demons or any number of people trying to kill or enslave me. The rest of the team doesn't know this. Holy shit, there's a dragon! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Excellent. Well, like, like we, like, well, we want to introduce you to the rest of the team, right. but I think I can pretty much ensure you right now that... As far as I am concerned, you will be here helping to collate data and process new inf- new intelligence. All right, yeah. So, so you do that, and then later on, as you're as you're going to file some paperwork, Ragnar sees you as like, I I saw the listings. I, you're doing very well to recruit such talented officers to your division. Well, like this, it's an important job, and I want to make sure it's done correctly. But you're putting the dragon in an intelligence analyst position. Oh, yes. You know he's a dragon, right? I, yeah, I interviewed him. Yes, I'm aware. You know what dragons can do, right? Yes. Here's the thing. He doesn't want to. Okay. Like, he wants to live. He I... doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be in combat all the time. Okay. And he's like, and he's a dragon. Look, it's, it's, very, it's, your, it's, your, it's just, okay. He just walks away with like the, this stare, this just bewildered, like, what the hell? What? What? He just, yeah. He, I, I, I would have been like, dude, did we not take out the Nixon? Did we not do this? Trust me, you mother. Well, <laughs> no, no, I'm, more thinking, I'm more thinking like, like sometimes a dragon just wants to be lazy and safe. Is that so wrong? Apparently, maybe. Well, anyways, yeah, you got through that. So, yeah. But you are called in actually the next day. And you're so, yeah, we have a, a priority mission that will have to, and you're the only people available who are not recuperating from a mission or in the field and this is not related to your overall mission but there is a the the high command has made this a top priority there is a town on the mississippi river called riverton it is on our side of the of the river thank for that name yeah well the unfortunately don't think that hard our intelligence sources have indicated that the the town has just announced that they are going to be holding a referendum and in a month, they are going to decide if they are going to... The referendum is about accepting an alliance with the Federation of Magic or the Tomorrow Legion. Uh, apparently, there have been agents of the Federation of Magic making in inroads with the leadership of the town, buttering them up. And so this is winning the hearts and minds of the people. So... I mean, it's got to be a strategic place, right? Like, why? It's on the it's on the river, yeah. So they could cross in there and have a beachhead on our side of the river. They're on the other side of the river. Uh, on one side, I'm on the other. And they, it is just south. It's just outside coalition territory. The coalition is not going to be very happy about this, and they're going to beef up, launch more, maybe in border offensive on this entire region. You know, the southern Missouri area, if they, if the Federation of Magic makes inroads in here. It is very alarming and very bad and damages our credibility as a regional power if a town just outside of our borders allies with one of our enemies. And That's it's also, it's also the fact that they are making, it's also a change in Federation tactics. Instead of using terror, trying to use soft power you know they built a they 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 said they'll build a bridge over the river for easy trade uh and this bridge will be magical and indestructible apparently if they accept About that uh, well i mean they haven't built it yet because they they it's contingent on signing the alliance that's why there's a referendum but the river is very dangerous to cross and they need to cross it for a lot of things so but there's you know you you can you need to go there and find out what's going on and like get them to sign with us what are we allowed to tell them to counter that like hey they're gonna build your bridge we can do this like what, what are we well but first we need to find out why they're they've changed tactics. we don't have a lot of resources but and if you kill the the federation delegates that's just gonna make us look bad because uh, they've been peaceful apparently 
I don't even know about it, but they're not demons. They're people that, 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 that sure. I don't know. We, this, sure, this, 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 this was announced yesterday. High council had a meeting and they said, so send, send some people here. Honestly, you're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be on the Muse squad, but I think you piss some people off and want, who want to see you fail. And yeah. Like, how long would they do that? Because you took two promising recruits instead of just one. Well, we're, all on the, we're all on the same side here. Well, some are more on our side than others. That makes no sense whatsoever. No. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> I'm 19. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is part of your learning curve. So go there, make, do your usual thing, and uh, get the town to at least not sign up with the Federation of Magic. Oh, we go, oh, we go see I mean, honestly, if you if you want to say that it's a lost cause and order us to shell the town, I guess we could do that. If, 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 no, if, 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 I, if we found out there's a demon worship the demon worshiping cult there about to launch an attack on us, we'd have no choice but to wipe it out. So, but that would be wrong if they were just innocent civilians. Of course, we, I would never do such a thing. But if there would be no proof aside from your word, if there were a cult. So if you feel like they're going to win the election, there's a cult. Do you understand? Yeah, we got to stop the steal. <laughs> yes, of course. I, 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 like, just like, yeah, like, uh, we'll, we'll find out the truth. Don't worry. Great. And more importantly, win that referendum or make sure there is no referendum. Well, don't worry. Or there that. is no we're town. We're going to give it our level best to succeed. That's what we do. Yes. Just su- just win. Yeah. Just <laughs> never fail. I simply would never fail. So, yeah. Like, all right, guys, we get a chance to make a difference again. Yeah. So you can get a hover truck. And uh, get over there in a couple hours because this is mostly basically going through Tomorrow Legion territory aside from a little neutral ground before you get to the river. Riverton, again, very original Mississippi. name. Yeah, basically yeah. it's on the Mississippi just n- north of Boot Hill. Cape Girardeau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that whole region area. So, yeah, it's a river town. It's been built up for river trade, you know, stuff, northern gun sh- ship stuff through the Mississippi down all the way to the Gulf. For trade with Atlantis and all parts, Dinosaur Swamp and all that other shit. And yeah, rivers are still important for trade, even in the post-apocalyptic. Maybe uh, even more so. Yeah. But yeah, you can get there pretty early. It is a town about, you know, all of you can do something on the way there to research it or talk to people, radio people. So yeah. Yeah. Let's research on the way. We'll tell them it's driving. All right. All right. Elbow out. Drive in. Yep. Driving a truck. <laughs> no, I got threes. I know nothing. All right. Yeah, it's sound. Hey, did you know there was a guy, Samuel Clemens, who wrote a lot of things about this Mississippi <laughs> thing? Fascinating. Tell me. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. So, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to be rambling on and on and on. Oh, right, yeah. It's like, Mark, Mark like, Twain's story. It's like, uh, wow, like, there's a lot, of, a lot of good historical records on this place still left over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Daryl. Oh, shit, Tom Sawyer grew up to become a detective. Huh? Yeah, what about you? <laughs> sure. What do you want to figure out? That's like, obviously, beachhead makes it of tactical value, but why this beachhead? Uh, sure. That's kind of what I was thinking earlier. But... <laughs> Three again. I mean, it's a great beachhead. It's a great beachhead. It look, it's just a fantastic place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 nothing comes to mind spe- unique to the Federation of Magic or whatever. It's, it's, a, I mean, yeah, it's a port town on a, on a major river, which is important for commerce and uh, military shit. So yeah, just yeah, yeah. Like, I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Okay, battle. I'll try battle myself since no one succeeded on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, nothing. Yeah, I mean, you can talk it, talk it out while you're driving. Oh. Yeah. There we go. How about a 12? Oh, shit. Okay. I, I just call, I call a guy I know. Well, no, you, you're, 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 yeah. you, you have access to more intelligence files yeah. and more reports than they do. So it kind of depends on what the Federation's overall plan is. Obviously, the Federation is wanting to move westward, expand their territory. Um, they're looking at you rather than the coalition. They see you as an easier prey or competitor to take on than the coalition. So that's not great. But it's there's one or two routes this could mean one they're actually changing strategy instead of using terror using soft power i.e side with us because we'll help you not side with us because if you don't we'll send demons to kill you which is not like them which is not like them but it's certainly possible they could be changing tactics 
they you know they they've been in a stalemate for a while they they they've been using these tactics for a while and they they're not getting much more mm-hmm. of them there's, there's not been a leadership change as far as you can tell from the reports you've been getting with the 12 you you know there's not there may be like minor power struggles but nothing like substantial duncan allister is the leader and he still is the big necromancer or demon summoning guy. The other thing is, this is a Trojan horse. The Federation of Magic, they can, they see people as PPE magic batteries, right? Especially if you kill them. When mm-hmm. the moment of death, magic energy releases double. So 5,000, there's actually around, you know, five to 10,000 people there in a given day. And you, you make this deal with them. You sneak in a bunch of your own troops, surround the town at night, kill them all in a single night. You can summon some real fucking bad shit um and you can even there's a ley line nearby that you could connect to the st louis arch and then you have used that to create a permanent gateway inside tomorrow legion territory just constantly releasing random monsters in well, all directions as just a terror weapon i thought the arch was already it is, but it's far north. This is much farther oh, south. They're wanting to do their own. They're linking it to that. Like it would oh. be possible magically to link it to the, with a mass human sacrifice. Okay. So if you sacrifice the town, you could do any number of things and create a permanent gateway, releasing random monsters, which would require a massive garrison to contain, thus permanently weakening the Tomorrow Legion's ability to project is it power. Possible to jump the gun and do the do it against them. Uh, well, you'd have to... It would be a mad sack. You'd have to kill yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And none of you are sorcerers. I mean, the only ma- magic user is him, and he, you don't... Even if you wanted to, you don't know that type of magic. Yeah. That's bad. It would also go against, like, all of my codes. Yeah. Well, yeah, mine, too. <laughs> I'm just... So, I mean, the... Just, well, there's a third option. With the 12, you realize that it's something like that, but it could be something else. Maybe it's something muse-related. The delegation would know. They have... So, you realize if you can get like a data pad or plant a bug or or spy on them and get some real good intel read their minds you know without them realizing it which is trickier since they know about magic and psychic shit um so they're gonna be they're gonna know that they're gonna send a tomorrow legion delegation to try and stop you stop them so you're they're gonna be waiting for you so it's gonna be very hard to get that intel but it's one of those three things either Change of tactics, soft power, human sacrifice, permanent gateway, or three, human sacrifice for something, some other magical purpose. So yeah, they're not here to make friends. They are a hundred percent doing this. Not be, yeah, they don't give a shit about the people. They see them as a strategic Fine. asset to acquire. They are resources, and they they are trying. They are trying the carrot instead of the stick for once. And uh, yeah, now whether that's a poison carrot or not, you don't know. So. This is what you all figure out by the time you get to Riverton. Riverton has, you know, been pretty prosperous. It's out of the way for most of the conflict zones. They do have the de- they do have a garrison though, because they, you know, monsters from the St. Louis Arch do march south, uh, following the river, and so they deal with a lot of shit. There's also river pirates, because why wouldn't there be? It's fucking rifts. So they have to deal with a lot of that shit. So there, it's 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 fairly well defended against external attacker attackers. So, in fact, your heavy weapons are not allowed inside the town. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, so you can have them stored, you know, at the gates, basically. Like, we can't have any or just the heavy weapons? Just the heavy weapons. Like, Tom has a big gun. I forgot what it is. The uh, particle ejector. Yeah. No. No particle ejector in town. But we can have, like, little the pistols. Yeah, you have pistols and knives. And obviously, magic users can do magic because that's... All right. I'll just leave my rifle, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I've got a particle beam weapon. Do I need to? Yeah, but it's a but it's a gun, though. Right? Yeah, it's a pistol. Yeah, it's particle. a pistol. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're probably the TX twenty six. Yeah, the pistol's fine. No rifles, no long guns. No, it's both my guns. Yeah. Well, Here, then. I have another pistol. I've got the backup. Okay. You don't have to. You can just walk around. You can, I mean, you probably won't need to shoot. Yeah, I got the old meat mittens too. You do yeah. have those, yeah. But you go one of mine. There you go. Uh, town is run by a mayor. You're the... better at it, so... Actually, you take the backup. That one's actually better. Which one? Wilkes. Backup this is a little bit better than the Wilkes I got. I had uh, two different Wilkeses. Uh, this is 3D6 plus 3. Let's see here. Something about it. Or a pistol. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. All right. So the mayor is Octav- Octavia Ellington. She's been running the town for like 18 years now. And there's, you know, thousands of people in here. There's farmers bringing in food from the farms around the town. There's a busy port, a dock section. Yeah, there's there's a lot going around. It, it is one of the more prosperous towns in the region. So, and yeah, there are people talking. There's even a little newspaper on uh, there. You can see people, you know, a little newsboy, a little scamp handing out newspapers. Or, Read you know, all about it. Yeah, bas- yeah, literally. You know, referendum, one month. Referendum announced. Will we join, will Ta- Riverton jo- join the Federation of Magic? So, yeah, just, there's people. This is also a town that uh, allows DBs and aliens in as long as they are a recognized species. So certain species, like anything related to Atlantis is out, you know, anything too that is perceived to be too predatory. Dragons are allowed, but they have to stay in dragon form. It had to be very polite. They're very mm-hmm. viewed sp- suspiciously. They, they, Yeah. So they're not like coalition bigots, but they're scared of big monstrous things. Oh, they've been attacked by a lot of monsters. Yeah. So feeling yeah. they're not going to be too. Side stalkers are, no, they like side stalkers. Really? Yeah. Because you hunt monsters. You kill monsters, and they deal with a lot of monsters. Yeah, you eat the monsters. Yeah, so and, yeah, they're uh, glad about you. Yeah, and Grackle Tooth they are usually one of the. Got a, they're one of the. Reputation. They're one of the nicer DBs. Yeah, they they the big big guy, but as long if unless you act scary, they're not going to be too impressed. Like, yeah, so yeah, you 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 come into town, they don't know you per se. You can go to the mayor's office, you can go to the newspaper, you can go to the bar and see what the the yeah. locks popular. Well, I'm going to buy one of the newspapers. Oh okay, yeah. You get it, you read it, it gives the deal. The delegation has three members, the Federation does. There is a wizard leading it. Uh, his wizard. name is, yeah, Clive, all right. Clive the Leyline Walker. And what a then, guy. Yep. Yeah. Then they have Techno Wizard. The Techno Wizard's name is, what's it? Conrad. Conrad, all right. Conrad the Techno Wizard. We need another scene. Apparently, yeah. The third person is just a mercenary warrior, just a soldier. Carver. Carver, yeah. yeah. The soldier. So he has some cybernetics. Looking at the photo, he has like a, he's like a headhunter type. You know? mm. Not full cyborg, but, you know. Has some, has some implants. In. Yeah. They all look pretty handsome. Like, <laughs> hey, you know. They, Ladies. They talk about what they've done so far. They've delivered food. They have used a ritual to purify the water source. Of the town, the, the aquifer, so apparently well water and all that is, is uh, improved. And the Techno Wizard has built a free power plant to provide electricity. So, like, they have electricity before by taking power armor new reactor packs and making them, but those are kind of jury rigged. So now they have, you know, their power is a lot more safe. No more brownouts. So, like, magical power plant, that's totally not something that you could overload and explode. Right. Depends on how they put it together. Like, it could be powered by just traditional science. It's a techno wizard one, so there's a lot of crystal in it. Basically, you, a magic, you, someone with magical energy or psychic energy channels energy into it, converts it into electricity. That's right. how any techno wizard right. thing happens. You might want to take a look at that thing. Yeah. Or maybe the, or maybe, and also maybe the purified aquifer, because I have a complete and total understanding of magical circuitry. Well, don't channel away. You're uh, the only magic uh, user we've got right now. <laughs> through artistic means and a connection to the divine. You, you, what you could do is because you know enough about magic is if you go there, and I'll say you, if you can get documentation of it, like photos and videos, you could send it back to base and they could decipher it for you. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if someone's just taking pictures, any one of us could go. Well, he, the, the actual spellcaster, would know what to take photos of, like what would actually be magically relevant. For the you two, if you had a good occult skill role, you could do that. But he's, I don't have a cult. Yeah, so you you you'd be like D six. Yeah, Here's better enough. my occult is a D six, but I also have mysticism. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you want to, yeah. So yeah, you 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 yeah. What are you thinking as your strategy? Well, first, I find a base of operations. Okay, there's a there's a couple of hotels. Yeah, and so okay, I'll check in. Sure, in yeah. your own name or like what name are you checking in? Dunstan. There, hmm? Dunstan. Dunstan, yeah, why not? Dunstan. Dunstan. Why are you from Dunstan? In. Dunstan checks. It's nice. Like, oh, my God. It's like, oh, like, <laughs> it's like, oh wow. where, am, it's like where am I not from? I'm, I, I travel all over the place. You know, man? 
Uh, you know, I keep looking. I keep thinking maybe it's going to be a place to settle down, but. Every okay. T- every well, I mean, our to- security forces have to kind of like do a check, make sure you're not, you know, up to anything. Uh, it says, let's see here. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can give me a battle check. Okay. A little bit. Now we're talking six. Okay. I mean, they saw your vehicle come in. Like they 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 try and keep track of people, right? Mm-hmm. Like they're they're they know that if they just let people wander in, and do whatever the fuck they want, like that could be bad. So, and you checked in with a plasma ejector or a particle ejector, mm-hmm. right? So, like. You're going to get a visit from a local cop detective and be like, where the fuck are you from? What are you here for? So, yeah. yeah. But you've not declared yourself to be a member of the Tomorrow Legion. Not yet. Anyway. Not okay. Yet. All right. Well, that's fine. So you check in. You get mm-hmm. rooms. Park your little hover truck. Yeah, they got all down for you. You got a month. All right. Well, let's just start. Let's start. Let's just, let's, guys, let's just take a snoop. See what we can find out. Okay. So you mentioned the power plant. Yeah. Well, the town's not that big. It's pretty easy to walk around. Walkable cities are a must in the post-apocalyptic because there's no car industry yeah. to lobby for uh, <laughs> car-friendly roads, city design. Yet. There's no Robert Moses. So, oh, yeah. fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck him. Kill him. Uh, Who in New York? He did. So you go to the power plant. It is okay. fenced off. Uh, from a distance, you can feel the magical aura. And uh, yeah, you can roll. Call to, to Ultra mysticism. A mysticism, yeah. Sure. Five. Okay, from here, you know, it does seem to be like you've seen. I, I don't remember if your character went to Stormspire, which is the yes. tech, okay. Yeah, it reminds you of something you've seen in Stormspire, which is you know, techno. Instead of using techno wizardry to like make a little sword hilt into a flaming sword or to recharge, basically what techno wizard is just like it's, if you have a laser gun, you use techno wizardry, you use magic PP, you know, it, it, to recharge your ammo, right? You mm-hmm. know, so you can shoot more lasers. Same principle here, but it's just electricity. At least that's what it seems like. You do realize they could have some nefarious purpose built into it, like a secondary mode or something like that. But the only way you're going to be able to figure that out is to get inside. And it is fenced off and there are security guards. It is not like... They're like light armored, light rifles, laser rifles. It's not like tight in, but like... You know, their main purpose there is to, like, if they get killed or shot or whatever, it's going to, like, let people know something's up. You Are know? they Federation goons? No, it's City Garrison. Okay. There's no Federation goons that you see. Yeah. How many? How many guards? There are four patrol. Well, no, yeah, there's two. Yeah. Okay. And this is on the outskirts of town. They just built it. Too uh, dark, you could fly over the fence. And I can assist you and make it silent. <laughs> yeah, there's no other defenses, so. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell up. So, yeah. Okay. So, that takes you a little bit. What else you want to do? Well, uh, I kind of wanted to go down and look at the the dock area. Like, sure. where they might put the bridge or, or, or you know, mm-hmm. enhance a bridge that's already there. Just yeah, the newspaper has an article about that. It's like, yeah. uh, Conrad the Techno Wizard descri- describes his plans for the bridge. And the news article talks about it. It's going to be a Techno Wizard bridge. That's why it'll be indestructible. Nobody builds bridges like I do. Yeah, there, there's going to be one foundation on this side of the river and the other side of the river. And then in order to go over the bridge, you have to charge it. And the charge will last for like an hour. It'll be like an indestructible force field over the river. But then it'll it'll, it'll give a 10-minute warning period, get off, and then it'll disappear. And one basic initiate magic user could keep the bridge on and off for about eight hours a day. So, like during, so yeah, you, you have all the advantages of having a bridge. Without any of the disadvantages, no maintenance, people using it, you know, you can you can turn it off in an instant in case of attack. Yeah, it, it's actually a pretty neat idea. The only downside is you need a wizard there running it. <laughs> like that's that wizard's job is to fucking have a bridge work. You are the you are the bridge or a psychic, yeah, a powerful psychic. But yeah, it's not very glorious for work for a wizard. But it'd be pretty fucking neat. Work. Um, but yeah, you you go there. You can roll notice. Oh my god! Seriously, <laughs> that is the second. Oh shit! Okay, twenty one. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's Conrad. He's talking to some business people. You can eavesdrop him with that fucking twenty one. Yeah, he he is telling this group of business people there. Here's the foundation. Here's how it's going to work. And then he's like, look. With this bridge, what people don't realize is that I can also angle it in different directions. It doesn't have to be straight across the other side. It actually, each side can work independently, so you can have two lanes. So we can have double the traffic, and we can even set up a port in the middle of the water to inter- like have submarines or, or ships pick up packages 
in the middle of the river uh, at great arm's length. It's an incredible thing. Like we can even have a project a wall to a degree. It's it's so he's going on and on selling these business people how they can use it. Basically, he's insinuating, oh yeah, you could have we could set up little. We they, the the design of the bridge changes every time the wizard activates it, which means if you had like a little boat that you wanted somebody to like pick some some package that you didn't want to get through customs, you know, they had a little couple feet. So basically, like, oh yeah, we could use this bridge for smuggling. So or what? Use it as an actual barrier. Yeah, yeah. So he he's you know they're 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 he's telling this pitch. Like None of this is in the news. Down there, they could run into a sudden barrier. Yep, yep, yeah. You could charge tolls for it. Yeah, so he he's well, he's I mean, you could crash a ship. Yeah, tolls a toll. A hundred, a hundred percent. So well, he is he is customizing his pitch for each group. So they're targeting individual groups. So those are all prominent merchants in the town, and now they're being told how this will make them rich and give them a lot of security. Both the things they really want to hear, and weirdly enough, they seem to be really into it. The twenty one, yeah, they, 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 I mean, like mm-hmm. business scruples, like that they, mm-hmm. they want it all for themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Like, so uh, you you figure that out. Is there any initial like things he's put in place yet? Uh, there is an area cleared out for it, and they have poured concrete for the foundation. But that's about that's like about it. like the, like the thing is the way the way it works with the twenty one. You realize. You set up the base of a foundation for a bridge, and then you you hook in the techno wizard shit at the last minute. So like they're waiting until after the referendum to actually do this stuff. So there's nothing to check out here. Sure. Actually, no. With the twenty one, they've already set it up on the other side. You actually look around. They've concealed it though. There's an illusion spell on it on the other side of the river, but they already have it built on the other side of the river. Interest, which is not. Those are so the two things that they're not they're telling, you know, they're lying. That's or, not or, cricket. Or, yeah. So So you're doing that. Yeah. I'll be going around to the like kind of various public places. Sure. Bars just t- getting a feel for like what's what are people around town talking about? Yeah, give me a notice. Uh, that that sounds like a notice check. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the ones are this I'm I a lot of this is just like base background yeah. research. Like, Four. Yeah. All right, yeah. With a four, oh, let's see. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah. You, you get a lot, but you're getting a sense of the town. So obviously, this is the number one topic of discussions mm-hmm. in the town. You know, people are concerned. There's different concerns, um, and you can tell there. Yeah, there there are different different groups are worried about different things. The business people are worried about profitability. The regular workers are concerned more about getting attacked the towns there's a small like magic user group and they're worried about the dark wizards of the federation moving in and taking over their turf essentially um and the aliens and dbs are worried that there will be the like you know what if the federation decides to switch you know like what but on the other hand the aliens and dbs like well the Federation could, are, the, are the only ones strong enough to protect us from the coalition. So, yeah. So there's different concerns for different factions or different groups within the town. But they're all talking about it in one aspect. Of it. Basically, everyone's like, how is this going to affect me personally? <laughs> me. Yeah, weirdly enough. And, That's yeah, there's a lot of rumors, like, stuff that, like, if they just read the news story, which you did, they would know. You know, there's, there's a lot of, like, mis- misunderstanding. But, yeah. So no one's really they're 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 kind of positive about it, but not like a hundred percent sold on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like maybe fifty, somewhere between forty five and fifty five percent of the town would vote for the referendum right now. And I'm considering, yeah, yeah that some people just don't vote. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So us uh, regroup. You get this. Do you want to check out the water on the other side? Well, it's a fucking Mississippi. It's it's. I mean, yeah, you could fly over. Yeah, you're talking checking out the other bridge, or you? No, I was, I was going to do that. Like, I was thinking that at night. Yeah, go check out the purified the water purified source. Water. Well, this is taking you some time to leave because it's a lengthy conversation. So you're just sitting there listening. Yeah, 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 no. You're just, obviously gonna going I'm, around I'm, town yeah, listening. Like, yeah, listening. Listening without. This, the, yeah, so this is both taking you some time. So what are you doing in this time, Daryl? This is going to be the afternoon. Like, it's going to be dark by the time you two are done with mm. your shit. Yeah. So you could do some research in the town. They have a library. 
You get some background information about the town itself. You go eavesdrop in the mayor's. Such a good strategic place. Yeah. I never did figure that out. I mean, we kind of got some ideas. You said that there is a group, local group of magic users, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll we'll see. I'll try to get some more insight with them. Yeah, there's a magic, literally a magic guild. They are... They, they, yeah, they, they. I got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the guild and was like, say, hi, I'm traveling. Also a magic user. Want to make sure I know what's closer and what's not. Oh, sure, yeah. Well, they appreciate that. They ask you who you are. Are you going to be truthful? Or are you just? Oh, I'll just tell them I'm Daryl. Daryl, where are you from, Daryl? Oh, a lot of different places. But you probably will know my voice if I start singing. Trying to keep a low profile, so my fans. Oh, know. yeah. They, 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 the yeah. person there recognizes the, that, figures that out from that. I mean, I do have fame now. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, well, yeah, it's a Leyland Walker, you know, low level person. It's like, well, welcome, Daryl. Or are you planning to put on a show here? Uh, no, we're just traveling through. I'm oh, just okay. On our way. Wanted to check in for the night and we. Sure. Well, here the rules are pretty simple, pretty standard, you know, rules of guests and hospitality. You know, don't use magic. That would commit be used to commit a crime. You know, no stealing, no spying, no 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 use of magic without consent, and otherwise, yeah, it gives you basic rules that are pretty pretty accepted for not too dissimilar to Tomorrow Legion rules for right. you know Castle Refuge for civilian mages. And then I'll start edging the conversation into the so the Federation's got some <laughs> Nick here, yeah. So how has that been influencing the goings on of like, this guild? Oh, well, you know, the Federation does have a, you know, actually it's not all demons and necromancers, you know, like they, they, they have a lot, you know, you've been to Storm, Storm Spire. I've been there a time or two. Yeah, that's in their territory. That's, that's all about it right now. Oh yeah. Well, then you know that it, it's not, it's more complex than people give it credit for. Uh-huh. So, so the, the magic user there is pretty pro Federation. You quickly pick up that they, they're very worried about the coalition coming in there. And again, they think that the Federation is strong enough to, to you know, protect them from the coalition. Mm-hmm. So, so it, it was this, this, this magic user kind of like mirror what the guild thinks, or is she just like the friendly advocating for the Federation in the ranks? Give me notice. That's going to be a little harder to figure out. <laughs> Look at us. All those on. Yeah, yeah. Just just background research shit. Fours. All right. Uh, no, she's more pro-Federation. The the guild there is more... The, the senior members are more concerned with their loss of status, have more powerful, skilled mages coming in and taking over. Mm-hmm. And she's young. She's not in charge anyway. So she's more excited about dealing with cooler more powerful wizards anyway. Mm-hmm. So pretty, pretty classic division of young versus old. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So then I'll just start. So how does that, I not a techno wizard by any means. Uh huh. Yeah. My magic is my music. What's the deal with that power plant? No, well, it's simple. You, you charge it up and it, it generates electricity for like by the hour. Well, what kind of materials do you have to have to put something like that together? I mean, I'm not a techno wizard either, but it's just wires and crystals and, and scribed in certain ways, and they channel energy and convert it into electricity. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just like any techno wizard item, just on a bigger scale. I took so, it, We took a tour of it early on. Here, I'll show you some photos. And Yeah. yeah. So I'll just be like, so who's powering it then? Who's giving the, who's giving the energy to make it work? Right now, Conrad is doing that a lot. Conrad has a couple of apprentices. Doing it, just kind of a gesture of goodwill. If we don't, regardless, it's a gift to the city. So even if we don't sign the, if we don't agree to the referendum, we get to keep it. But then the guild will be in charge of doing it. And the guild has said, well, we'll pay people, you know, it'll be a job. You know, you get X, I, I forgot what the rate is, but it's like so many credits per hour. So, yeah, it's just, you charge it once per hour and it's fine. So eight hours a day, you've got to charge it eight times. That's enough. That 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 taps me out for the day, but uh, yeah, hmm. yeah, we got we have enough. Uh, psychics can do it too, although they're less efficient at it. But yeah, we got enough people there, and it's only there to supplement. We got we have power from other sources too, but it would definitely take the the strain off our existing reactor. What kind of reactor is that? Oh, it's from an old war bot. You know those those. There's a lot of pre-risk war bots and mecha that we we get converted to power plants. 
Well, all this is just a bit above my head. Yeah. Yeah. So I do appreciate your time. Of uh, course. Is there like a guild meeting or anything? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, tonight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might swing back in. Yeah, yeah. Rub they... elbows with some of the other practitioners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, you're not a member, so there's only some, we'll have to, you'll only be here for the first half. Only members only for the second half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For for guild business. But yeah, we. we... standard. I'm used to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that now you all catch up. It's early evening. It is dusk, so the lights are turning on. And uh, yeah, go someplace. Go someplace for like. Get, let's go grab some food and discuss what we've learned. Yeah. So yeah, you do that, Jason. What kind of restaurant is it? You have quite a few different fares. It could be orc cuisine. It could be. It's got to be Mississippi cuisine. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh right, yeah. Kind of Cajun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Orc Creole. Orc, orc Creole. Oh yeah. Okay, now there has to be a Creole orc. Who owns it? Well, yeah, I'm not doing the voice. Uh, Although, yeah, just do the voice of Leatherhead from the old TMNT card. Oh, God. That's not offensive. Yeah, I'm guaranteed. That's Bishop. Yeah. Or no, not Bishop. Uh, Gambit, yeah. So, yeah, imagine Gambit, but he's a... No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not this week. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> They're no. traumatized. Remember it. Oh, no. Remember it. So uh, all of you eat delicious Creole food, you know, mutant catfish. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, getting, some, I'm getting some ideas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you catch up, so you all know mm. everything, and so you can plan out your next step. So, what kind of pictures? Were you getting any pictures at all? I haven't been able to give much. It seems so far to be kind of on a level. One way or another, the the reactor is going to stay. Like the Federation isn't going to just take it away. Which I'm not sure. I mean, it means it's either not a big deal for them, or it's a trap, or it's a time bomb. Yeah, that, that they could. That, that that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a trap. I'm also kind of curious because none, none of us want to go check out the water filtration. Uh, are we drinking the water? Like, what is there any way that we can like test the water? Do you have any spell? No, are you afraid that they're putting like some like, federation? Oh, they're putting fluoride in the water. It's terrible. Yeah. You're going to be fluoridated to hell and back. Yeah. We cannot. <laughs> we cannot allow the federation of magic to. My sap feelings are pre- to sap my thoughts. Your, your precious bodily fluids. fluids. Yeah. yeah. So my sunglasses. No, no. Back on. My <laughs> God. <laughs> my God. So yeah, you got all that info. Yeah, you you could. Yeah, we could. We could. Rack out of it and say you tested the water. Do you have some kind of skill or ability to let well, you test? Well, that's what I was asking. Like, if we're getting the water to drink with the, the food, like, is yeah, it- you could have done that when you checked in the hotel, got a mm-hmm. glass of water, and done your. Do you have a detect bad water smell? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got healing. Like, yeah, roll healing with a negative two. That's not a little outside your purview. Any medic or yeah, medic, but- medic. Yeah, it'd be it'd, first aid check would probably yeah first aid kit and riffs would probably have a detect detect poison kind of food you know is this food safe is this water safe more of a science check so yeah it's fine yeah actually you know what maybe we, could we send some back home just to how get tested how ship it how send it, like, is there a- no you could well there's caravans. You want to say, you want to have a little box from a trade? You can't. It'll take like two weeks for it to get there. There's no. Well, we got a month. No drones or anything. You yeah, you do have a month. You could you could spend a month not drinking the water. Yeah. No, oh, fuck it. I. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you are. Yeah. 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 So it it seems to be fine. Hold on. Flip down the magic optic system. Uh huh. Like, detect Arcana. Oh, yeah. That's what All right. Saying. All right. Eight. <laughs> It is not magical. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unclick. All right. That was, that's what I looked at too. I was just saying the same thing. But that would not detect if it had been like transmuted into you know yeah. some poison or whatever because it like it only detect the arcane when the arcane is present. So right. like yeah. if it's like turn water into shitty bad poison, it would only detect when the spell is being cast. Right, but there's no like lingering magic in no, the water. There's no lingering magic residue, as so it's a, not. Yeah, it's not an ongoing. Like, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not. You're not secretly drinking parts of a water elemental. So whatever it like, is yeah. changed, if it's if been it's, changed, it's which been, you have not determined, one way yeah. or the other. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I've determined it. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. Are you having the water? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking. It tastes. It tastes fine. It tastes good. 
It's like, man, you're back home. Like, to be perfectly honest, this tastes better filtered than the stuff you get at the, at the barracks. <laughs> no, I mean, you can, you can still. Well, the officer barracks water is, you know, the officer. Officers... You can still taste the sand, Ross. <laughs> you can still taste the sand. Okay. Hey, that's right. minerals. It's good for you. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's grit. The, uh, Silt is good for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that process. It's still just a old blue jean full of sand that they're running water through, just to be sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, Anyway, so you get, yeah, you, you, now that we settled the issue of the fucking water. No, have we? <laughs> I, Let's I, spend more time on it. Okay, now. yeah, yeah, no, that's thrilling. We'll play that. So, yeah, yeah you're right. You've caught up. You, you've, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you can make academics or battle check. Or... I'll try battle. Okay. For what? what we... Our next, our next. Kind of, kind of analyze what the information you have so far. Well, I know nothing. Okay. Ooh. Or research or. Yeah. I have 12 on yeah. battle. Okay. I got fours. So the 12 in, in battle is this classic divide and conquer. They're, they're yep. targeting leaders. They've, I did, they've done their research. They've identified the most influential individuals and factions, you know, groups within this uh, town. And they're focusing them, ignoring the main people. Uh, figuring that the leaders of the town go this way, the, t- the people will follow. And so you, you, you would guess... That they've made similar pitches to other groups, you know. They've only started doing this a couple. They only have like maybe five days head start over you. Mm. Uh, they they started doing this five days well, ago. You're going to go to the Mage Guild meeting. You could see how they've been persuaded. Yeah, that would probably be a good call for you to yeah. go and feel the yeah test things out there. Yeah, I'll check the water there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, I, I was good. I was good. There's clearly a conspiracy there. Yeah. We yeah. just have to find it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, the, the first half of the meeting is open to the public. All three of you can go if you want. But yeah, the three of you go. You don't have to make a check. I wasn't going to go. Okay, so where are you going? I'm going to I'm gonna try to... Well, geez, I, I can't... I could swim, but that's a long way across the river. That's a, yeah, that's a Mississippi River. Yeah. You can rent a boat. It's also... After dark, you cannot. Like, they, they have rules on that. It is dangerous. I, you don't have to know there are river pirates, there are river monsters. The river itself is deep, fast, and treacherous. No one would rent you a boat because they would just lose the boat. Like, yep. At night? No. No, 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 no. Yep. Like. I mean, our best bet is flying. That is know. like like a life or death saying to go out at night. Well, there's there's checking out the, the power grid thing at night, but I don't, I can't fly over it. I could climb it, but I'm not there. Well, there are guards. Yep. And it's like barbed wire at the top. It's 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 like. Yep. It's not the, like the best security, but there's security. <laughs> There's um, some. <laughs> let's see. Who are some of the other town members? Like, you were around schmoozing mm-hmm. and stuff, so. Who are some of the other kind of leaders other than just, like, the well, mayor and stuff? Well, there's the mayor. There's the newspaper editor, or newspaper owner, newspaper uh, reporters of the Magic Guild. Um, there is the, well, there's a church. Oh. The church of the, the church of the, the scaled redeemer. It's a, it's a church of dragon worshippers. And oh, dragon Jesus, yeah, I was looking right at Tom, like, hey, and there's uh, some uh, cyber Jesuits, yeah, <laughs> cyber Jesuits, yeah, those are the two churches in town. Um, there's the the merchants, there's I told you about cyber Jesus, there's the people who run the docks, there's the farmers, the farmers market, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the ag sector, and there's a couple of like neighborhood resident associations, like wards, basically, you know, like ward bosses that keep track of their individual neighborhoods and protect the people there. So, yeah. Make sure everyone pulls their trash cans back to, off the curb. Yeah, HOAs, but with guns. Also, like if the town gets raided, which it has before, they're the ones like everyone's like they have them. Oh, yeah. And they have a militia and they also have cops. And oh, yeah, actually, while you're having dinner, a very well-dressed man uh, sits down next to you. He's wearing a duster and a cowboy hat and he puts it down. Very respectful. He's like, good evening, gentlemen. Hi, I, I'm Detective Marshall. I know that's a... Detective Marshall. Yeah. And I'm I'm with the Riverton Police, and I just want to ask you all a couple questions, if you don't mind. Well, little reason not to. Yeah, you all checked in at the Sleep Easy Inn. It's a fine establishment, and... That's uh, big enough for me. According to the, the... And at the gates, you checked in a couple heavy pieces of firepower, including particle ejector and... Uh, L20 rifle. Yeah, L twenty rifle, and you look like a pretty yeah. capable individual who can handle himself in a fight. 
No. Absolutely. And you went to the Magic Guild. And you're a side stalker. You're, you're, you know, we like and respect your, your people around here. Which is really strange. Mostly my people are feared. Well, there are people who don't... Well, we, the leaders of this town, like you. Like, the average person may be a little... But we understand the utility of having the side stalkers handy. We do get a lot of unwelcome visitors at the... Have the at the St. Louis Arch coming in and causing problems. Also things from the river too, crawling in. Yeah. And so, but it said you, the Sleepy's Inn, you all said you were nomads. But that seemed to, I just wanted to know if you've been, have you been to Castle Refuge recently? Because that truck looks like it was, you know, from the Tomorrow Legion's motor pool. And I, we we like the Tomorrow Legion, but we just want to, you know, that's not a stolen vehicle, is it? It is not stolen. Okay. All right. We just like keeping a low profile because sometimes we just travel through. And so you are with the Tomorrow Legion. And I just don't want to be recognized by my fans. That's where I saw you before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I like your music. You got this side of beef to make sure. It's sure. It's a little too okay. close. Well, that, that answers a lot of our my questions, really. I just wanted to... And also, when we realized that there was a Federation presence here, I'm not really well liked by them, so I didn't want to cause them trouble. Well, that's very kind of you. But don't worry, they've been very good, and if they cause problems, we will... We will they, they... Look, we have our ways of taking care. We've been taking care of ourselves the entire time as independent, um, and yeah. So that's, don't worry, you, yeah, you, you are safe in this town. If if the the federal if we do the go through the referendum, which uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. So yeah, I've actually huh, you guys have been independent for all this time. Yep, and you just now federations won the deal. Yeah, um, yeah, they just popped in like not even a, not less than a week ago. Huh. I don't know much about the federation, but for what I do know, they never do this. Yeah, I mean like. Like, like every story I've heard, it's all it's all demons and corpses and zombies and, and forceful kidnappings. Forceful kidnap. Oh, like there's there lots of those. Yeah. Uh, so like, it doesn't seem like the Federation I know. Uh, one of you two can roll persuade whatever's higher. Uh, I have a D four. Uh, you have me D6. too. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> You're the man. Now, dog four. Well. There have been a couple of cases that have been Federation related. There was a there was a killer here about five years ago who was cutting up our citizens, sacrifi- sacrificing them to a demon. And, uh, I was part of the group that took him down, and the lead mayor knows this, and the mayor's still talking to them. So I don't know, but I'm kind of surprised y'all haven't talked to the mayor yet. Well, Oct- Octavia'd be real interested to hear into the Tomorrow Legion's point of view what your offer is. Well, it, again, we, when we knew that the Federation was here first, we didn't want to... Last time I crossed paths with the Federation and they tried to do it diplomatic, they were not so kind to me or the people around me. Didn't want to bring that kind of trouble down on your folk. Look, if they, if they cause trouble, let me, any of us know, and we will... That'll be the end of the Federation they, they, in this yeah. town. Do you want to try after this is done? Yeah. Yeah, well, so, no, I want to leak the fact that he's here. So what's the what's the mayor like? <laughs> Oh, Octavia's been great for the town. She's run it. The Ellingtons have been running this town for damn near 100 years almost. And she's been, you know, trained from this for from birth practically, but she takes to it like a fish to water. A very good deal maker, very good at sussing out people who are, you know, trying to get one over her. And she she's actually in her youth. She went out west, came back with a gun on her belt. Far west? Yeah. Ooh. And she can, people think she's a talker, but man, her hands are just as fast as they were when she came back. My grandma's been out west. She loved it. We've been out west. I know, but no, I know. It's like she's been all the way to the ocean. <laughs> We've seen oceans. The not one, that one, though. That, not that ocean. The, you know, the, that's the ocean in the west. You know, they're all connected, right? Sure. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Detective Marshall. Yeah, so well, y'all have enjoy the rest of your meal. But yeah, if you you get you have any problems with the Federation, here is my card. Mm-hmm. And they have phones that work inside of town. So yeah. This town is fun. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Oh, what you want to do? Guild meeting. All right. So you're going I'll go. All right. I've never been to a wizard guild meeting before. Sure. What about you, Rance? I really want to tip the fact that 
he's here because this is my thought. We tip it off and we we get them to take a shot at us first. We don't look like the aggressors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm trying to set up. Something like that to like tip the fact that he's here. And, I, and he's trying to come up with a, a new album. Like he's trying to get some... Yeah, I've already made it fairly clear to you as publicly as I can that I'm trying to keep a low profile. I don't want any trouble. I don't want nothing to do with this Federation business. Mm-hmm. But my thought is, like, we could take them to have it. But the Federation knows better, so they'll probably take a shot at Yeah. But but then it was fathom them, <laughs> right? Like, that persuades the... Yeah. And, like, I want... Like, the goal is I was going to try to do it in such a way that... I want to leak, like, he's trying to, to come up with something to polish off and finally put out his album and, and, and do, like, a tour... And this is kind of like the first place he wants to kind of try out like a live performance. Do you want to leak the track I'm working on called Folly and Stormspire? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. And, uh, and the idea is I want them to try to like come at him in public. So like I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. Well, I'll say this. You, you don't know anything about the three members of the delegation. So you don't know if that would matter to them at all. So, yeah, you you can't really bait them until you know what they're like, mm-hmm. until you know what would piss them off So to cause them like, so you need to research your opponents before you can do that. Yeah, I mean, so you could try it, but like that would like... No, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. That's, that should be what I should do. Is yeah. I should go sneak around and learn what I can about these guys. All right. How do you want to figure out where they are right now? Uh, actually, no, you got a 21 on your thing. The Techno Wizard is having dinner at the Burst, a steakhouse where the chef is a burster and uses pyrokinesis to cook the steaks. It's a fancy steakhouse in town. Cook with your mind. Cook, yeah, mind bullets. Cook your steak, basically. So you could go there and eavesdrop more on Conrad because you actually have seen Conrad and listened to him talk to people yeah. at a distance. So and yeah, just get like a drink and sit like at the bar nearby or something. Notice, but now you're focusing on Conrad and like yeah. trying to figure out what would he. Yeah, Seven. something's pretty good. So you realize Conrad is the kind of guy who engineers disease. Like he's just. He he wants to build, and he has like he has an engineering project. And he is obsessed with his work, and like, and he's very proud of his bridge. But you realize what you realize with a seven, especially, is that the bridge isn't the thing he's really excited about. There's something that the bridge is necessary for, but that uh, it is a precondition to to get the. Th- something yeah there's there's something that the bridge is a step a part of but there's something else okay. and he so the bridge is, is is bridging the gap yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. so he needs the bridge on both sides in order to to do the next step of his plan so whatever to look at the other side and yeah get an idea yep um, but that would like that it's this uh, he's doing so he is conning them he's not telling them because yep. you you yeah because he's not telling him about this, what he really wants to do. And, you know, there's another thing. You can just get the sense, you know, just the way he looks out, he's thinking about this. I, mean, I shouldn't have not, I shouldn't have got rid of the thievery thing like when I first started the character. This would have been a great, great time. To well, play. you know, if you had an advancement, I don't know if you've advanced from last time. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. So meanwhile, you two are going. I need to. I'll do it after the session. All right. The two of you go to the meeting. Um, mm-hmm. The apprentice is there. She kind of looks at you, Steve. Mm-hmm. You you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Well, what what's your interest in in magic? Besides, I've never been to one. I, I'm like I'm trying. Like, I'm telling you, I, I'm I, I'm young. I'm trying to get experiences here. He he's with me. He just he wants to learn while he is keeping me safe. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll keep you spent magic. Yeah. All right, I you'll have to do his contribution then. There's a one PBE entry fee for oh, yeah. guild maintenance. All right, so there's a crystal by the door, and you have to, like, channel energy into it. I'll channel a psychic and a magic. All right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're getting a lot of side eyes. 
A lot of people, so you I'm could just, yeah, the, like the, you could tell there's a lot of detection and like, percept divination spells are like, who the fuck is this guy? Is this a civilian? But actually, the whole time I'm just gonna be like smiling and waving to people. Yeah, this is like 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 you're coming up to an all ball, uh, you know, fancy party wearing tacky clothes. It's just like that side eye, like stink eye, like, like oh, he's DB trash. Well, no, no, it has nothing to do with you being a DB. They're DBs there. No, it's, it's normie trash. Yeah, it's yeah. non magic using trash. Like you're you're a civilian. Like what do you do? Here. You don't belong here, and, and people start talking in magical jargon as soon as you come here. So, like, yeah, it's very deliberate and very. And I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what the what they're saying, but just like sure. wave, wave, and yeah, yeah, yeah. A smile. Yeah, well, you're not getting. It. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Are people, you getting it? No, people are kind of like, yeah. Are you going to be glued to Der- Steve, or are you going to like wander away from let him fend on his on his own? Uh, you're supposed to be protecting me. So I'm I know assuming you're protecting me, so I'm not worried. Yeah, like, I'm kind of following, following following behind like a bodyguard. Okay, well, yeah. All right, you have a negative one on any social roles you make in here. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, there's 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 uh, you get there time before the meeting it's supposed to be called to order, so you have a little time to socialize. Yeah, there's there's probably like yeah. twenty five. Or so magic users here in this town or in this guild hall right now. Mm-hmm. So they're all talking, you know, it's like a little cocktail party basically. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Magical cocktails. Yeah. There's different there's different schools of magic you can see. So yeah. I I'm like just I'm always I'm obviously very interested in cocktails that I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. Um it's it's like a cocktail party. Yeah. They actually the cocktails all require magic to actually work. You actually, there's a little activation rune on them. So you have to like channel, like not even a full PP, like one PP is enough to activate multiple drinks, but you have to channel that to really get the taste. Otherwise you're just drinking like garbage. It tastes terrible without magic. So was, was, it's like, yeah, you, know, you have to light some cocktails to get them to taste good. Thought, like, I, 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 same thing, but I was yeah. Those. I should, yeah, yeah. I should, could you help me up? Boop. Okay. I want to, I want to try it. It doesn't, it tastes horrible. Yeah, it has to be you. You you have to cast it as you're drinking yeah. it. Like, I was like, could you describe the taste to me how it's different <laughs> for you? You can give me a spell tech casting check to try and get it to work for him. Seven. Okay. Yeah, this is a spring themed yeah. drink. It tastes like like the the you 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 get the essence of flowers blooming in a spring field. Yeah. Oh, Springfield. I've heard of that place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've been there. Yeah, it's true. That was the first, God, the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, are... like, so, like, yeah, I'll be listening, but also, like, thinking of a way I can recreate this using non-magical. You can't. Like, it's like, literally alchemy. It, I can approximate it. Not really. Not without magic. It's, it's by definition, impossible to do. Well, then, if I become the, the new god of cookery, then I will... Yeah, I, this I, is I definitely, like, magic. It's literal magic. Um, anyway, but yeah, what do you, are you just trying to check people out? Are you trying to talk to people? Like, what are you trying yeah, to do? Yeah, I'm just rubbing elbows, mingling. Trying okay, to get you don't have to roll for that, yeah. But. Uh, trying to get a feel for how everybody perceives the Federation in the rough around. It reinforces what you, you kind of figured out earlier, that the younger, more inexperienced members are more eager. They're more ambitious, and they want to, like, you know, if they, they let the Federation in there, they could start climbing the Federation hierarchy and... Yeah, I mean, the Federation does have, like, normal magic users who aren't, like, insane demon-worshipping assholes. Just the leadership is. So they could do that. And the the more established members, the senior and the middle managers are more like, eh, that's fine. I'd rather be a big fish in small pot. Thanks. Bye. Go away. That kind of thing. So, yeah. But that, you don't have a whole lot of time to socialize. They call the meeting to order. And, yeah, it's going through guild business. It's, It's pretty dry bureaucratic shit, you know, talking about, like, rituals that they town they have to do you know obligations of the town like defensive spells around the walls sensory spells and and uh, well yeah actually not even the, that that cool stuff just utility spells like you know the 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 summoning air elementals to deal with the trash around the city streets mm-hmm. and very mundane things and dig guild dues and and stuff like that and the main topic of her discussion tonight is actually not even related to the referendum that's next week this week is just Silent book club. You know, should we the the topic of the 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 spring the spring festival? You know, it's it's they're going to providing entertainment for the town for a spring festival coming up. So yeah, yeah very pedestrian, very very you know mundane stuff. Yeah. The spring fe- festival the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so uh, before the referendum. Uh-huh. Interesting. We have yeah. to go. Apparently, not even go. Oh man! If only there was a magically inclined. 
performer in town <laughs> with his with, with his band. Yeah, and and the fun- you know the clerk that yeah, if somebody whether to like take credit for getting someone like that to perform, that would probably be a big feather in their cap, regardless of how the meth run shut down. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So you get yeah, you realize you can you could go to the guild leaders and get some leverage. Yeah. It's layers upon layers. Yeah, yeah. No. Or or the younger members, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of the one that I talked to earlier. Today. Oh, the apprentice. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like just yeah. kind of kind of plant that seed in her head. Okay, uh, yeah, she, yeah, she she gets that, and then she tells you, all right, the next is for members only, so you'll have to go. No, yeah, like, yeah we're talking about you know some more sensitive stuff. So yeah, oh yeah, nice. but yeah, you you realize you who you has can cultivate the weirdest, source. Who has the weirdest thing under their wizard robes? Yeah, they go. Are. So. Yeah, you all get out and you get some information. Yeah, and uh, wow, I didn't know wizard stuff was so mundane. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta go through the fundamentals. I don't know what those are. As you graggle through, they're terrible. Are yeah. think you like this? Yeah, they cannot. They're not good. Magic. Okay. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's yeah. Part of the math. Let me sure. like this. How effective is your gun if you don't clean it regularly? Banish such thought from your mind, please. That. You don't do that. It's the same thing with magic. That's what the fundamentals are for us. It's cleaning our guns. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you go to the sleepy Z Inn. Go to sleep and, and you're, 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 you're untroubled at night. Do we have to share a room? You can. You don't have to now. You can get your own rooms. We're officers. We have all- Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that expensive to get rooms here. Uh, uh, well, one yeah. big enough to fit me. Sure, yeah. The, like I said, they've dealt the, the with DBs before. You can get a king, California king size bed. But yeah. Yeah, cozy. Yeah, I uh, like. I'm actually just blankets. Like, <laughs> I like <laughs> so much. Oh, yeah, next arises. Yeah, I, I think today we'll try to get in touch with the mayor. Well, let's do that. All right. Um, you breakfast and head to the mayor's office. Uh, the secretary, you know, an old old man. He's like, yes, yes. How can I help you? Well, uh, yeah, we would like to. I if. Octavia has got any appointments today. We'd like to see if we can squeeze ourselves in. But if not, we'd like to schedule. Who are you? Oh, uh, we are representatives of the Tomorrow Legion. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, uh, how do you do? Like, I'm Captain Steve. Captain Steve, right. yes. This is Ensign Daryl. Well, we have official communication channels with the Tomorrow Legion. You don't mind if I verify this, of course. Oh, by all means. All please right. Do. Please do the wait a moment. He goes into another room. Oh, it's a, you know soundproofed. You, you're not going to hear anything. And he comes back out. <coughs> uh, now you the the Toronto Legion has uh, confirmed that a delegation has been sent, uh, and you are that. And uh, Captain Steve is the member, yes. a psy stalker, and a wizard of some kind. Yeah, we'll call it that. Okay. Well, but yes, yes, Mayor Ellington would, would be happy to talk to the Tabar Legion. So I, I've contacted her, and she's cleared her current meeting for to make space time for you. Uh, so you oh, can see, fantastic. Put her through that much trouble. Oh no, it's it's no trouble at all. It's just uh, you're you're saving her from another budget meeting. It's uh, okay. yes. So the three of you go in. You know, you can see a bunch of bureaucrats filing out, and then kind of see look at the three of you. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, yeah. adventurers again. You know, every other year she has to hire adventurers to deal with something. You know, uh, yeah. You know, if they if they give me any kind of yeah, these people don't like you. They, they, they clearly. Uh, He's like, I, saw. <laughs> I can sense the evil of the bureaucracy. <laughs> and I'm uh, honest, well, I can't. The bureaucracy is soulless. You know, I'm, I'm doing. I'm oh doing, no! It's so perfect enemy. Like, oh, I'm just no. kind of doing this smiley. Like, like, hi. It's like, how, like, how are you? I could easily crush all of your skulls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was too soulless bureaucracy it does deserve it at any point. But yeah, Octavia Ellington in there. She's a woman in her forties. You know, nice, not very nice suit, uh, very elegant. The the office is Western themed, and she has you know very fancy rifle on the wall and some bullhorns and some paintings of the far west. And uh, yeah, not a mayor, like uh, Captain Steve. Hi, Captain Steve. I've heard of you. Uh, some of your exploits have come far and wide. Uh, and you must be Daryl. Yes. Yes, it's me. I'm just Ensign Daryl. Yes, my niece loves your music. Yeah, that's a, that's touching. Yes, maybe, maybe you could sign something for her. Yes, in fact, I, I'm having a courier come by to drop off an album for you to sign. Should be here very soon. Uh, oh, I live very close by. So yes, I'm glad that the Tomorrow Legion is coming to see it. Obviously, 
that you must have heard about the Federation of Magic. And that's kind of yes, yeah, so that's we didn't announce ourselves until now because we didn't want to cause any kerfuffle before we had a chance to talk to you. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I mean the the delegation's been very civil so far. So, but yeah, I understand your the Federation yeah, does have a reputation. It's not just the reputation; it's like everything they're known for. By well, anyone ever. I'm talking more that we've had some personal run-ins with some of their members. We've killed a lot of them. In oh. travels. Okay. It's humiliated of quite a few others. Oh, I see. But to be fair, they were trying to do very terrible things. Look, well, what whatever happens there is not, you know, I have to, I can only focus on things I know and, and protect of course. Riverton itself. And I, I want you to know that, like, anyway, whatever our feelings of the Federation, which I'm sure we've made clear... Well, not if like, we will not we will not start anything. Mm-hmm. If something started against us, oh, well, it. and I will hope those that are yeah. so far have reinforced that point. I mean, no yeah, I, I've not that. received any reports of any incidents. So, yeah. yeah, I hope you've enjoyed our hospitality so far. The food is amazing. Great, yeah. amazing police force. They are very Johnny on the spot. Oh, did you t- did you talk to any of them? Yeah. Detective, Detective Marshall. Ah, oh, yes, he wonderful person. He is, one of his duties is checking out visitors to the town to make sure well, they're there. Well, I can tell you that he's doing a fantastic job. Yes, he is. If I was to rate him, I would give him five stars. I'll take that into advisement. So, yes, the Federation, so do you want to, do you have an offer for me, for a counteroffer? It's just trying to want to understand what they are offering, so we know how to appropriate. It. Well, it's it's an alliance, security yeah. security and trade alliance. It is not. We would still be autonomous. We're not, but we would be have a trade deal, so that there would be no taxes. Of course, they would be building a bridge, literal bridge, a techno wizard bridge over the Mississippi, so we could trade more easily. There'd be a lot of traffic back and forth, and I that, see, they've already started on the foundation work for that as well. Yeah, well, just some concrete like that. It's no no big deal. No techno wizard. I'm just it, trying to see if she knows about the other side. So I just threw that much out. So if she only knows the concrete, then she doesn't know anything about the other. Yeah, that that is true. That's what I'm trying to. Call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she does not. Yeah, she she only mentions the concrete on this side of the town or this side of the river. Yeah. So basically, they are looking to change. They they have not. Tr- they they have realized their tactics are not helping them anymore, and they are trying to become more stable, more mature, and more attractive as a partner for other polities yeah. in this region in, in North America. That is certainly yeah, that is one of the scenarios that our command has put forth that they truly are changing the tactics. What was that other scenario that we? That was determined to be likely. It, it involved some magic stuff. I'm not quite. Clear. Oh, the mass sacrifice. Plan. Yeah, that's the one. I think yeah. that was that was a plan two. That was plan two B. Yes. Yes. Well, they're not going to be allowed to station any troops or military forces in the town. But uh, they've already gifted you a couple things that could. Our our ma- magic guilds have have verified the power plan and they've been bought off. I well without. I have. Yeah, I, I, I mean, without evidence, I can't. I have to of course, trust our of people. Uh, and, and we're not one to just throw out random accusations. This is just okay. This is some, these are scenarios that we, hypothesize. Yeah, hi, yes. hypothesize. Well, without evidence, I can't really act on this. Well, I have to. We're here to like we're here mainly to investigate that and see, and hopefully, find out which scenario is true. I'm very much hoping it is just they are changing their tactics. Well, they 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 said their main thing they can do aside from trade, which would of course help us quite a bit. Having a reliable trade partner. Well, I can pretty much we, assure you the Tomorrow Legion would also. Oh, but I think it's also the security piece is what you're more concerned. Well, about. the security. They said the main thing they can do is to limit what comes out of the St. Louis Arch towards us. That they can set up wards outside of town that would banish or drive away these entities that come out of the St. Louis Arch and attack our towns on a semi-regular basis every summer. And fall, especially around October, we get multiple attacks from these beings. There's many, many reports, and they're very in size. And it, it's become our greatest barrier, our, our impediment to growth, are, are these uh, co- regular attacks. And they said that they can simply, because they're experts in those kind of things, simply keep them from attacking our town in perpetuity. And the main thing they want is to be not trade, but because the bridge can be reconfigured, 
they can they will be able to move security personnel outside of town, but to other p- positions within reason. Obviously, we told them we're not going to let them have a war with you because we're we're still friendly with the Tomorrow Legion. We would be still friendly with you, but it's only a matter of time before the coalition tries to take us. And it's only a matter of time before the coalition tries to take the Federation magic like they did with Tolkien all those years ago. Tolkien was a, a magical city-state like Federation magic, and the coalition did destroy them. So, so we would like to have reinforcements of a, of a stage of a nation state capable of fighting the coalition on our side and the ability to get across the Mississippi to counterattack the coalition when they come, not if, but when, and the Tapar Legion is very brave, but I, I just, you know, we need all the help we can get for with dealing that. And I think that's, a decision I'm will, ready to make because sooner or later the coalition will come a knocking and we have been able to fight off the monsters, but we can't fight off an army. I'm not sure how many of our particular exploits against both the coalition and the Federation have come your way. Uh, vaguely. I, I know you destroyed the Nixon, which is very, very impressive. Well, it's not just the fact that we destroyed the Nixon. It's about how we were able to manage it. As you could imagine, like the logistics of getting around the Ozarks to different parts of the country presents unique challenges in that we have gotten to a point where we can deploy surgical, precise strike teams for maximum effectiveness. All right. A roll for sight. The fuck is wrong with our dice today? There we go. There it is. So, yeah, with the four, she... I says, well, all right, you know, if you could do a demonstration uh, to show what the Tomorrow Legion, like what kind of strike force you could teleport in on a moment's notice, that would mean a lot. Um, so is there a ley line point nearby? Uh, there is. There's one a couple miles outside of town. Yeah. So let's see if we can call one in. Let's just call 44 and Kurt. Yeah. Just so, in and say hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do that. Well, why don't we schedule it for tomorrow so we can get the press there and we can bring people and make a show of it. So, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, yeah. We, can, we can also bring the new girl. Yeah. Okay. It seems like something that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lois. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can bring the dragon, too. I mean, he, he'll show up for this. This is not combat. He'll he'll, he'll, he'll show up to the town. And... Yeah. He's the look impressive. Yeah, I yeah. expect him to actually fight. Him. Yeah, he'll he'll be like, okay, fine. That's fine. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look, just look bad at Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah that'll that'll definitely help actually. Yeah. So it's just like we don't need to worry about deploying armies because we are able to widen our net with more precise strikes mm-hmm. and with fewer resources. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, today could we? Um... There's actually a couple of ley lines around town, so you, or out in the region, so you know that you know they can't just coalition can't just you know camp one and get you as soon as you come out. They right. you can go to yeah any number of them. But yeah. In the meantime, you know, you've heard some of our exploits. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard of some of the things that our opposition has done in the past. Sure. I'm sure you're reticent to fully but, trust everything. Well, that's 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 why they can't. I, I made a point mm-hmm. of saying they can't bring in any troops inside of the town, that they, they have to go away from us. And we have a considerable garrison. Like I said, we've been fighting monsters for 100 years now. We, we're, we're capable of defending ourselves. Well, certainly, but given our track record... Perhaps is there a water dug on display in this room anywhere? There is. Interesting. Yeah. Perhaps you would be willing to. A couple allow of crosses, us, wooden stakes, yeah. Perhaps you would be willing to allow us an escort to, to, look, at the, to look at their gifts just to give you a double, you know, to, just to assure you that there, there are not nefarious means for their. Their new power grid and their the power plant. I mean, the concrete pillars. You can they're they're in public view. You can just go to the water, the docks, and look at them. The waterfront. You can look at them. This would be a time to drop uh, the the, the, other side. Mm-hmm. the power plant. Yeah, that actually no, makes I was sense. Trying you, to say, like, can we go in? Like, I'm trying to get her to say, can we through with her? Like, giving us an escort, like the guards that are there, yeah. take us through the power plant, take us. Well, you could. Yeah, actually, that that is fair. Yeah, you could yeah. having a second second opinion. Second opinion. On the power plant, what couldn't hurt. You are an expert in this, I assume. 
I'm an expert on magical things. Okay, well, and there, yeah. As well as your, to make sure that they haven't done anything to your water plants, too. They, they, oh, they well, the water, I mean, the water for purification ritual has already been done. It'll, it's a, they just purify the water. It's it's a done at and act. So, but you're a magic guy. We could take you to the water processing plant. You can run whatever. Say the more we press that there's a conspiracy about the water, the, the more likelihood that it I know. Be but I just want to. Yeah. Yeah, no, oh. I just want to check. <laughs> yeah, I mean they, they already did it though. So like my understanding is that like, it's already there's nothing to examine. There's no infrastructure that yeah. they left behind. So it's it's just. But yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell the guards to let you into the power plant and, and give you a tour of it, mm-hmm. and you can let me know uh, that. that uh, yeah, I mean. I would also, I know it would be more of an imposition, but I would like to be able to, to hire a boat with some of your, you know, locals to check out the bridge on the other side. What other bridge on the other side? Oh, you don't realize that they've already put a bridge on the other side? There's a site. They're supposed to be, my understanding was they weren't supposed to build until it unless we sign, unless they're. I don't know if they've been entirely honest with you, Madam Mayor. Uh, well, this is a huge breach if that is indeed true. Um, so, yeah, I all three of you can give me notice checks. Six. Eleven. Uh, actually, yeah, both of you can detect our camp, too. Yeah. yeah. And F3. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. Something that was invisible was clinging to the window watching it, and it was very, and it was clearly something invisible just flew off the window. Uh, react? Well, you'd shoot through the window. It's on the other. It's on the outside of the window. But it was clearly some little thing that was eavesdropping on your yeah. conversation. Can I, through, can I banish it? Try to banish it? If it's an extra dimensional thing. I mean, all right, I'll, I'll try to do yeah. that. All right, yeah, make a spell casting check. To... Nine. Eight. Okay, yeah, with an eight, yeah, you banish it. So uh, what were you trying to do? Bolt. Well, I mean, that would break the window. That's fine, I'll pay for it. Well, the wood actually, no. How much damage does Bolt do? 2d6? Mine is 3d6. I roll 3d6. It's an armored window, so okay. yeah. The toughness is a 20. It's a very expensive window. <laughs> uh, do seven points. Yeah, it does nothing to the window. But the banishment goes right through the window because it just requires a lot of sight, uh-huh. which, you te- which you have because you detected the creature and you banish it. It's a little demon, a little imp, a little, 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 little guy. Fellas, we bought ourselves about a day. Yeah, so he's not going to report back that you they you know about. It. And she's like, I'm like, what? Yeah, she didn't see it, but you know, she she is very alarmed. And then she she calls, you know, have one of my magic guys come in and and see what 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 was that? Uh, no, let him let him see. But yeah, you can have the boat. I'll send Detective Marshall and some guards with you. Yeah, say so you want to go with the detective. Now let me know we're limited on time, and I'll go to the power plant. Yeah, where do you want to go, Captain? Well, I mean, you're handling you're handling the two magical things. I'm gonna. I, I think you should come with me, like in case they have some people over there that I'll need. Like, can I have my weapons returned to me if I'm going out of the town? Mm. And maybe on the boat. Yeah, it'll take a little longer for them to get from the city gates to the thing. But yeah. So, all right. I'm gonna come strapped. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it'll take them like an hour extra to get there. Yeah, okay. I'll just go. The time is over. Yeah. Do you want yes. a particle pistol? Will that make you feel better? What does that do? How much? Oh, yeah. Uh, 3d8. Yeah, that's better than what I do. Sure. I'll borrow it for out. Your trades. <laughs> yep. Because, yeah, it has to go from the city gates to the waterfront. No, yeah. Let's just go. First, somebody has to be told, like, get the, find that one, and then get on, get, then get it to the waterfront. And, like, yeah, that'll take an hour. Because I have to find it, and he has to check it out, and then, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, team break. So, you're going to the power plant. Mm-hmm. You two are going to the waterfront. All right, so you get to the power plant first because it's obviously closer. And yeah, I'm just going to turn on my detect arcana and see if I pick up anything weird. Yeah, roll. Probably yeah. Notice, right? No like, occult. Occult. Like detect arcana. There's an inc- incredible amount of magic being well, a fair amount of magic being used. It's techno wizardry shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to hide it on anything strange. Detect arcana lets you realize. I'll say for free. Eat. For fr- yeah, okay. So one thing you realize is not all the techno wizardry machinery. Like you know, sir, they're basically techno wizards taking circuits and crystals mm-hmm. and programming circuitry into being spells. 
And when you channel energy into it, the spell happens. It always happens the same way. So it's mechanistic in that way, right? Mm -hmm. You make a thing that shoots fireballs, it'll always shoot fireballs. Like a wizard who can just cast multiple spells or whatever. Anyways, it's only the electricity generation is going on. There's a wizard there. It's another magic. No, it's actually one of their guys there. And one of Conrad's apprentices is there. And he's like, what's going on? What's all this? With an eight, you realize not all the techno wizardry circuitry is being used. And there is an effort to conceal it, to make it look like, so there's like multiple bundles of circuitry of wires and crystals, and they're all clustered near each other. And the one that is glowing, that is magically active is in front of the other. So it looks like, so they, they made purposeful, it was purposely designed to not show that some of this, the techno wizard shit was, you know, not being used. Yeah, it's just... We're There's hiding. another function here that is being concealed. Yeah. And it's not being activated. And you don't know how to activate it because not you're not a techno wizard. But you can tell that there is a secondary function <laughs> to this thing. And it's not being used. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Uh, I'm going to send an up at, at the first available opportunity, I'm going to send an update to the Tomorrow Legion to have a Techno Wizard join our demonstration tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I'm going to commit as much of this to my active memory. Oh, you can bring a camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, but Conrad's apprentice is, like, extremely... Can we just assume that there's one incorporated into my TAC helmet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Conrad's apprentice there is asking a lot of questions, and the guards are there. It's like, no, nah, mayor's orders. Let's show this guy around. And he's like, who the fuck is he? He's like, we don't have to answer you. So the guards are stonewalling him, but they're just, you know, regular guys. Um, they're, 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 they, they know that this, they, they, you know, the mayor is suspicious, so they're suspicious. So, like, they're doing a good job stonewalling while they go. But the guy's like, who the fuck are you? Who are you? So he's getting into your face and, like, and the guards are pushing him back. But he is really agitated and really unhappy that you're here. Yeah. yeah so do I see anything weird about him? He's a tech, he's clearly a techno wizard, right. but he's human. And yeah, what, how else would you figure things out? No, I'll just like, uh, can I identify? Like, is there a piece of his gear that's about that is developing a little bit of a short that I can point out to him? No, no, it should it's locked on. He doesn't have actually that many things. He's got like a jumpsuit on, like a utility suit on, and you know, a thing of tools, and was like had a you know, he was working on a sketchbook when you came in, and he closed it. And, you know, maybe you um, can mention something that's actually really good. That they've done. Mm-hmm. I don't want to tip that hand. Yeah. Well, also, you don't know enough about... Right. You, you would also probably... Yeah, yeah. You don't know a lot about techno wizardry, so... I just don't see a lot of techno wizard, like, works that are this complex, so... Called in a few favors to kind of get a marvel. The Rover's right. Do it. Five. Okay. He is still asking you questions. Where okay. are you from? What's your name? Dunstan. I checked into the hotel. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, which hotel? Sleep easy. Oh, sounds like a good hotel. I should maybe check it out. If you want. I mean, free Riverton for now, anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a slide. That's, a, yeah, that's rude. You, yeah. you, Whoa! Where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> well, you sound like a coalition propagandist. Oh, I'm far, far away from the coalition propagandist. All right, well. And as I walk away, I'll start whistling the tune to you. All right. Nixon will never go home again. Okay. So, meanwhile, you you two, Detective Marshall... We're going on an adventure. And, you know, two people that worked about you two, Detective Marshall, and two city guard. Jump on this boat. Go across the river. Both of you give me nose checks. Six. Five. Eleven. Eleven. All right. Two things. Tell me. One, there's a dark shape in the water that is off to the distance but it's kind of coming up near the surface and going back down but it's like following you so yeah and two you're you you know you did really well you spotted that thing and you you pointed out the area now you you have a better beat on it now than you do you kind of see it but you can make out that there's some people there's some shapes moving in there human size shapes humanoid shapes trouble ahead gentlemen so, yeah, they're just making a straight beeline in the boat towards the site. So, then it's going to be coming across whatever's in the water. Uh, well, it's on the, the, the illusions on the shoreline. Like, it's like, it, like, imagine the foundation of the end of a bridge 
like on the shore, right? Like that's what they mm, built. Maybe only should. there's a techno wizard machine that you charge up and it forms the rest of the, the thing out of telekinetic force. Please, I point out to the people in the boat. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They know the point, but to them it just looks like a well shore. I'm, I'm trying to tell them to go a little further up shore. Then. Okay, you want to go away from the thing? Okay. Yeah, All so right. we can beach somewhere else. Sure. Come in on shore. Okay. All right. Yeah. They'll see you for sure. There's no way to hide a boat approaching that position. No. Yeah. So how far away? Like how many? Like tell me in terms of like travel time. Battle. What do you think? Yeah. You know, like try to try to formulate like a. You don't have to roll like, well, what's the plan? Is this a raid or is this like. Try and do it like. Like you. you yeah. What's your intention here? So are you like, are we trying to like make them think that maybe we're not going directly there? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. And then like, circle back on the shore. Like we've got something else in mind. Like, okay. Investigating something else on. Okay, give or, me give me a battle check. That's what I was meaning. Okay. Five. Okay. In that case, you can't go anywhere near it. You have to go a ways off. You have to go around the bend. Okay. So you have to go like a couple of miles away. So if you're not making a beeline for it, then you don't see the shape. <laughs> so all right, so never mind that. Uh, no, there, there. You do. You still see a shape in the water. But it kind of checks you out. Well. Yeah, yeah. I was mean, I mean, I mean, just gonna say, like, like you know, you know, quietly lean into the everyone in the boat, like it's being guarded. We're like we're gonna need to go a little further, further down. Yeah, no, you go around the bend. So yeah. the the Mississippi bends it goes around. Yeah. So you go around the bend. Yeah, but uh, as long as that, as long so as you're like five miles away. But as long as everyone in the boat knows what we're doing. Yeah. So they show you a map of this area, and you 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 go up river like five miles. Do once more. And you so with the bend, you need to walk about two miles. All right. I'll now the riverbank is pretty steep, mm -hmm. so you have to climb up that way. You don't have to roll for that. It's just muddy, so you're going to be dirty, but. The, the ground next to the river is pretty flat. You know, it's overgrown grasses and trees and that kind of thing. So you could belly crawl if you want to max. If you want to make a stealth crawl, that stealth roll, that's belly crawling for two miles. So which is, you know, the kind of thing you have to do if you're a soldier. Like if you're doing if you're or you could run and fucking athletics and lightning blitzkrieg it. Or just, I don't know, walk casual, but they'll fucking see you if they have a guard pointed looking at the ground, looking at the territory behind them. All right, guys. All right, so now that we're... So with your battle, you were, you were a successful battle check. Yeah. yeah, they're going to have someone posted at looking behind them. Yeah. But so... It was like an illusionary thing from the one side. How about this side? Are we seeing it or is the illusion... Go there's trees. There's a tree line. They they, they set it up in the All tree right. line. So the gentleman, like, like, I see you it. can kind of see techno wizard structures but you can't really make it do you have any vision i mean you don't have his magic uh, helmet uh well i got like a plus two notice in the helmet oh you gotta you got a scope, magnified scope thing yeah. Oh, okay yeah yeah you can roll that you can yeah you roll notice then okay yeah we got you we got, don't have the detect arcana helmet but you do have a fancy oh i've got detect arcana. arcana though like just to yeah but it's not part of your gear yeah <coughs> get close and then use it oh uh, six Six, yeah, there's there's probably, there's at least three people there, maybe five. And they're wearing body armor and they're carrying weapons. One of them is wearing robes indicative of some kind of magic user. You can't make out what type. Okay. So he is very much banned. Yeah, and that's only, that's one that you can. That I can see. That you can, I, he's wearing the clothing appropriate of a, a you know, tra adventuring wizard. Okay. They all might be wizards. They could just be dressing weird. So. Technically a wizard, but I walk around in full armor. Yeah. Yeah. So there's three to five of them. They don't, you don't see any heavy weapons. You don't see any cyborgs. You don't see any monsters. They could be monstrous humanoids. It's kind of hard to tell. They're wearing helmets. Well, put um, that to the team. What do we, what do we think? I mean, like it's pretty flat. There's no real cover. Yeah. It's a flat. It basically it's a picture flat flat or grassy land between you and them. With some trees in between, some rocks. It's it's wet. The grass is pretty tall, so you can crawl through it. Uh, the ground's sort of uneven and muddy. It's very damp and humid right next to the river for some fucking reason. Uh, but there's a tree line right by the shore and then a steep river bank. And then there's the machinery's right in the tree line. Do we want to belly crawl all the way there? There's a fuck 
fucking long way. And like, I've got some stealth. Do you have any stealth? I have some, yes. What about these guys? Like, well, they... detective will match your roles. He so he will he will do. You know, the the two city guard are going to stay by the boat and report back if you don't make it. Yeah. <laughs> That's All what right. they they have binoculars. They'll um, watch. I can also cast silence on us. To, to... Oh yeah, that'll give you plus two. Oh yeah, do that. Okay. Here we go. So that'll that'll so you just have to not be seen. Which the grass is tall. Oh, there you go. Fourteen. All right. Yeah. Silence. Yeah. All three of you are very silent. So yeah, roll. Let's do it. Both of you roll stealth with a plus two. Good. That was four. That was six. Nine. Okay. Nine and six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So did yeah. Didn't, didn't. Just Metal Gear Solid, and, you know, belly crawling across. Mm-hmm. Even you, you're you, you're able to do it. You're you're fucking absolutely covered in mud, though. I mean, right. I'm back. I'm like, I'm loving this. And you have to stop every once in a while whenever guard, like you can see them mm-hmm. now. You have eyes on. There's definitely four of them. And yeah, what's your plan? How close do you want to get? Like, what are you going to take them out? Are you just going to watch them? You got to eavesdrop. Hey. You gotta like pop it, up and hold them at gunpoint, you know. Well, uh, I, I think Detective yeah. Marshall, uh, you know, it, uh, before you started doing, he says, you know, I could. If you want to capture them, there, we consider this part of the riverbank our territory. I could bring them in. Well, you could arrest them. I could. Well, let's let's not because they're not supposed to be yet. here and they're armed, so they're they're like, yeah, anything inside of this town we consider our territory. You know what? Like we could try to arrest them. Our jurisdiction. Is it, like you could say you deputized us. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's just like if you think you know, we can. I think that's a. I think that's the best plan. Is to my arrest them. I don't my wanna, thoughts. I don't want to be the aggressor uh, in this. The last thing. Yeah, that's the last thing. No. 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 We. 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 I have a. We have. they We arm people who didn't announce their presence doing something without our permission. That's that's a criminal violation. That's a military day. No. I'm meaning like. Yeah. For us, I don't want the Tomorrow Legion to be the aggressors against these guys. Not, no, you're. He's like, giving you cover. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, all right. You know what? Let's so, let's try to arrest let's them. Let's not just yeah. try to kill them. As well. Yeah, let's try to arrest them. All right. So all right. What, I, I, I said, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let he's gonna lead us. Marshall take the lead. He's, no, he's, no, no. He he says he's like, look, I will. You're more expert in like taking down armed. Mm-hmm. commandos or whatever the thing so like i'll back your play all yeah right. you can figure out what your plan is so is your plan to how about we flank them yeah know? get it and he comes up to the middle he's not gonna fight that's what he's trying to say i will i will back you up but you have to make the first move because if i just pop up and hold a gun to the four of them they're gonna shoot me you need to take them down like you need to like lower uh, their numbers yeah, to yeah, get yeah. the others to surrender so like yeah. if wait there's three of us if each of us can take down one of them then the last guy is going to surrender. Yeah. So ambush all, all three of them. You should probably ambush the wizard. Yep. Okay, so here's the problem. Tell us the problem, Ross. There's four of them. Only one of them is watching the back. Mm-hmm. He's the easiest to grab because he's the closest. He's right up and he's at the grass. You can crawl up right to his ankle and like, you know, pop up and grab him when he turns around back towards the river. He he's basically watching the grass, then going like, "Oh, clear," and then like talking to the guys. He's like, he's, he's the one that's the rear guard. Going. Yeah, the rear guard is not a hundred percent professional. He's bored. He has done this for a while. Well, Tom, you got the so first stuff. well. Hold on, you 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 you've been able. You're watching him for the two mile fucking yeah. crawl. It's been it's you have time, so that guy's easy to grab. Yeah. Marshall can grab him. No problem. Uh, but the other three, you can hear them more than you can see them because they're more in the trees and then on the riverbank. So they're farther. So that would require a second. You're pretty sure two of them you can get with if you make a. There are two of them accessible with one more stealth check. Okay. They're past the grass, so you'd have to sneak through the trees. Right. There's one right on the riverbank, open ground. There's no you. You can't. Sneak to him. There's nothing to All hide right. behind. We'll take out, the, take out the guys we can take out stealth. Okay, so each of you has to make a stealth. Yep. Okay. And this is independent of each other. Yep. And and you can only use your stealth uh, silent thing on yourself. Yep. So you can... Yeah. Seven. All right, so they each get a chance to detect mm-hmm. you. Actually, all three of them do. Because... Nine. Okay. So anyways, they get three checks because there's three people. Plus, plus yeah. two. So, so 11. 11. But you only still get... Yeah, you hadn't hit the second. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what does Marshall pops up 
Actually, no, the, the, the guy at the river, Marshall grabs. The guy at the grass, the rear guard, Marshall grabs. So you, he's yeah. not going to be able to. He just grabs him. And choke holds him and yeah, chokes hold him and puts a gun. It's like, Shh, go to sleep, go to sleep. And he is able to do that. Yeah. Now you have to beat him. And what'd you roll? Uh, 11 total. All right. So he has a D6 and unnoticed. So, and he's just a goon. So he doesn't have like that. <laughs> we'll see. God damn it. He oh. <laughs> got a 10, listeners at home. <laughs> that close. That close. <laughs> I got seven. All right. Well, let's see. Awesome, oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's a tie. Defenders win ties. Defenders win ties. Unless you have a Benny to re roll. <laughs> All right. You need to beat. You need to beat a seven. Oh, that's definitely beating it. It's twelve. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. <laughs> Both of you sing up. All right. So we'll do this one at a time. So you get behind your guy. What are you doing? Yeah, again, uh, the humanoid <laughs> wearing armor with a mask, he had a helmet, so yeah. So, but the, the neck is weak, so you could, I mean, you could just kill him. That would be easier, in fact, than trying to knock him out. You could threaten him, point a gun to him and say, or a knife to his throat and say, you know, surrender. You could hand to hand him with fighting and try and choke him out. With um, with that, you would get a plus four because you are behind him fighting. Okay. So it depends on what you, what, what is your takedown technique? Oh, I'm going to do the same thing. Like kind of like the marshal did, but I'm not. I'm not training it in, and I'm just gonna. All right. Is there a core skill or intimidate? Intimidate. Oh, I've got taunt too. So. In, yeah, intimidate. Intimidate. Yeah, a plus three. Yeah. Um. Uh, either way, it's an eight. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. All right. As long as you didn't roll two ones. Um. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's been happening so much. I know. That's why it's so fun to roll. So, uh, Steve, what's your technique? Essentially, going to kind of like you've got melee and stuff. You can I know, but you know, no, he's got yeah, he's got a helmet on. Uh-huh. I'm super, I I'm super natural uh-huh. and strong. I just kind of grab it, like start. I I'm just gonna like, grab him from behind. Like, uh-huh. I kind of like squeeze his helmet just enough to kind of start doing it, and then like like do not move, or I will crush. All right, that's head. fighting. I'll give you plus three because you are 100 percent behind him. Mm-hmm. So that'd be intimidate or fighting. Fighting. Okay. I'm good at that. Is that you not just knock him out? This will not. Well, the, this will do it. If you, it sounds like you will, since you're okay. Uh, Twenty. Yeah. 18. All right. He, he's out. The rogue guy is the guy on the shore, of mm. course. So let's see if he notices all his buddies stop talking. <laughs> uh, he only needs a. Ooh, he failed at that. <laughs> finally. Yeah, finally. All right. He's not aware yet. Both of you are equidistant from him, so you're looking at each other. Are you both going to run at him at the same time? Or are you going to like? Just yell at him to to surrender, or like, what, what's the play? Well, I've got to keep the gun on this guy, right? Like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, so that, the guy, your guy, is out. He's 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 Betty by. He is. Then like, like then I have a thrown weapon. What's that? The, the guy. guy. <laughs> okay. I will throw the guy. All right, the athletics guy. negative two. He's not aerodynamic. Guy, right? guy. Uh, but he is super strong. He is super strong. That's why he lets you do it. So net minus two. Yeah, because fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> what's the damage no, oh my god yeah dude well it stuns him it's a stunning it's he's oh stunned. you know what yeah as he's throwing it i'm gonna make i could fear check and make it look worse like it's something nasty uh i mean it's it's just the the like what the fuck like <laughs> he's suddenly standing and now he's on the ground like he, he just gets flattened by his own guy. Yeah, you stunned this round. Yeah, he's stunned. He, it's like just, stunning. Just yeah. run up and I just put my foot right on his head. Yeah, and just like, to, like actually, uh, yeah, put put the pistol right to his head, but my foot's on his back. Yeah, just, just like like now is it now is the time we be cool. Okay, cool. So Marshall very quickly has enough restraints, uh, disarms, takes their helmets off. Uh, two of them are human. One's an elf. And one is some kind of monstrous alien DB with a bunch of tattoos, kind of like a <coughs> kind of like a Gorn from Star Trek, kind of reptile guy. But you I know. think I know exactly what this is. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah. What? Uh, Griot Hunter. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm personally familiar with Rift's monsters. Yeah, movies. that's sure you are. And yeah, they he he uh, they they the rogue guy starts chanting. So, but you stop him. Mm-hmm. Um, so he can't talk. You can't. Like, you know, hand. Yeah, is like, like and 
<laughs> uh, Detective Arcana, the the elf guy, is also is psychic. So you know, what are you going to do? He is going to do something. Mm. Yeah, you can knock him out. You don't have to roll for that, but like, yeah, you can't interrogate him. him. Knock him out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, come on. Come so on. So you, you capture all four of them, <laughs> but you can only talk to two of them because they're not wizards or psychics. Yeah. So, and they don't want to talk, weirdly enough. Um, Radio to the guys to bring the boat. Down. Yeah, they do that. Well, okay, yeah. Well, they, no, there was a shape in the water. Oh, yeah, there is something in the water. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah let's investigate the shape. Both of you can give me a notice check. Of course. Four. Five. The shape in the water is out there, and you see something kind of like pop up like Nessie. And watch the proceedings as you're capturing and disarming these guys and, you know, removing their helmets and all this other. Th- I mean, you can't, you can't hide that. Like, yeah, sure. And it kind of, it's kind of watching you for a moment and it ducks back under the water. All right. Yep. All right. Like, well, what's, what's here? Like, techno. Yeah, there, the there, bridge. there is a camp. There is a foundation. Yeah. There's a techno wizard machinery there. So, yeah, there's a, this massive techno wizard apparatus. Um, there's some, a little, they actually dug in a little shelter into the riverbank. So they have a little underground, little hidey hole thing for a cold camp, you know, so that they don't make any smoke. They've been here for a while. They've been pretty disciplined about keeping their presence concealed. There's a big, in fact, there's another techno wizard item on the shore, which is actually on like in the water. And you can give me an occult check. It's like this long metal bar. Five. Oh, this is the thing that they keep charged to keep the illusion. So it's like an illusion screen. Like it projects an illusion screen. Like, you know, think of like a sound bar, but very long. And when you charge it up, it creates an illusion, tops it. Yeah. Break it. Yeah. Sure. You break it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to look at the Marshall. And there you go. I mean, Dorcas was talking about how, or we figured out that this side of the bridge is operational, and Dorcas was talking about how you don't need both ends to make a bridge. Yep. Yeah, each, yeah. You have PPE. Yep. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you could You could uh, give me another, yeah, you made your call check, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could activate the bridge. Boop. Let's see here. So, yeah, you could hear, like, <gasps> yeah, yeah, people shouting outside as you're finishing up the tour. Move the bridge around a little bit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can do that. Um, give me one more call check. Five. There's a secondary function. Oh. What is it? So it costs five. I, it costs you 10 ISP to activate the bridge and face I'll function. Do it. Okay. Five. How much do you have left? Let's see. I've done sound or silence. Yeah. I had to do one to spend that, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's 12 total. I've got, I've got 18 left. You could activate the secondary function. That would pretty much tab you out. No, I mean, that's adding in the 10. Okay. So I, I, it would be 12 total on the spot. Okay. So, so you have 18, so you have a total of 30 ISP. Yeah. Okay. Yet yeah, activating the secondary function would take another 10 ISP. That's what I mean. Okay, what yeah, if, yeah, yeah. What, okay. If the, what if the other, other yeah, function... He has spent two before you said he needs to spend two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what if, this, what if the secondary... So you have enough to activate What the if the secondary function, function yeah. is terrible? Well, I want to know what it is first. Do I know what it is? That's not. You're not a techno wizard. You know how to activate them. Any any magic user can channel energy to it, but you can't read it. It's like you you can turn a switch on and off, but you don't. If you can't read the language the machine is programmed in, you can't. You don't know what it does. All right. The the bridge. Like I could move it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, no. When you when you set. When you activate it, you actually have to pick an endpoint. You realize that. Like, where do you want the endpoint to be? Oh, okay. Not in town? Like, down? Yeah, you can angle it at a, at a very steep angle. Anything. Yep. Any, yeah, yeah. You basically make a straight All line. right. Yep, I'll do it. All right. But it's very visible. It's a, like, glowing That's yellow energy. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a force field, but as a bridge. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Would, like, I'm going to radio you. Like, so. Wait, where are you again? I mean, I don't know. Oh shit! Yeah, but never mind. You're, I was gonna think. No, you have need, radios. You can keep. I mean, like, we need to get a techno wizard out here that's now one of them. Well, we've got someone on our team, right? That doesn't ever show. Up. He's supposed to be showing up tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sir, not appear in campaign. Like, as long as you, like, if you're putting, putting it out to the river, you, you could activate the secondary function. Yeah, that's what I did. But we're thinking. But what if the secondary function is mass destruction? 
A secondary function, so do you spend the energy to... That's what I oh, okay, okay. I was doing. No, no, no. 10, 10 to activate the base feature. Another 10 to activate the secondary feature. Okay. Total 20. Fuck yeah. Okay. Secondary feature asks you for two things. Ouch. No, no, no. It asks you for two things to designate. One, where's the energy source coming from? And two, what construct is receiving it? So you can't... So yeah, you pause, and you don't know what those are, so it fizzles out. Okay, so you wasted the energy, but like okay, so it's asking for a battery. Like it's asking what power source do you want to plug into a construct? Give me an occult rule to know what a construct is. Ten. Okay, yeah, the Federation of Magic. There are people there that make basically make magical mecha, not through techno wizardry, um, but basically war engines that are fueled by magic, and they have varying sizes and powers. And so, this is some sort of machine that can help empower or recharge or refuel these war machines. So, as they come to the portal with them here, they can recharge it. Or... Well, there's no portal, but like they could march from Federation territory here and refuel here. Yeah. But you realize that, yeah, with your Ted, you, the power source could have been a living being or living beings. I thought about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just didn't want to kill somebody. Yeah. You, yeah. So I think we got, I think we got some evidence. Yeah, and I'm kind of out. I'll carry you if you need. No, I've, I've got eight left. I'm just like, wow, that was a lot. Uh-huh. And yeah, that would have only started the reaction. So like the, the fueling procedure essentially. So Yeah. Let's get back to town. Uh, so yeah. there are people Wait a freaking minute. out about the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it's becoming, yeah. So the bridge is still there. Though, right? Oh, yeah. It'll be there for an hour. Good. You can get across. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use the boat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll have to go up shore. I guess tell the guys, the, the, the cops, to to go back across or something? Uh, yeah, you have an hour. You can time, cross like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Let's make sure these other everyone gets arrested. Yeah, properly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm worried about, like, are they going to take the boat back across? Because, like, that thing's still in the water. That thing in the water is probably going to be more worried about getting on the bridge than dealing with a boat five miles upstream. Um, yeah, the, the, guy, the boat, yeah, yeah. The boats are, uh, once they see the bridge, they just start going back to town. Like, yeah. they're like okay, you guys got this. Yeah. I, think, I think getting someone here with expertise to shut this thing now. Would be- yeah, I mean, yeah, fast forwarding, you, you bring the people in the suspect, the detective marshal brings them into their... Police headquarters, Marshall Marshall. or actually in the garrison headquarters. It's not a military matter, mm. not, not not just police. And the the police and military actually work pretty hand in hand for Riverton, weirdly enough, because you know, wow, yeah, well, it's, it's kind of yeah, yeah. Often a lot of the criminals are people working for hostile nations, trying to undermine mm-hmm. or overthrow the country uh, or city. Really, it's a city state, and so yeah, things happen a lot. The Federation delegates. Yeah, they kind of disappear. Actually, yeah, only Connor's left behind. The the soldier, he's he's Carver. Uh, uh, Carver. Yeah, sorry, Carver. And Carver is saying there's. I don't know what that is. We don't know what that is. Um, that has nothing to do with us. We disavow it. But if you made our deal, we would be able to do that. But uh, Clive and Conrad are nowhere to be found. Well, I they just buggered off. I explained to the mayor. Yeah, exactly. What about the secondary function there and the fact that it uses life energy from elsewhere? So a life form. Yeah. Or life forms. I mean, that, this is enough to sink the deal. Like, they, 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 the mayor was lied to. Like, they didn't, you know, the fact that the bridge had secondary functions clearly was built by them and was clearly there ahead of time was, yep, a huge mistake. Yeah. What about the other thing that you uncovered? Well, yeah, what's the secondary function? Oh, yeah. Well, the, when, when you when you point it out, the guild does have a couple techno wizards. And yeah, it's another refueling thing for secondary functions with being able to go into a hunter seeker mode. So the, the techno wizard is like, oh, my God, this is monstrous. It would designate targets for it will send out tendrils of energy to essentially attack people and kill them and drain their magical energy. To feed into a construct connected to the power plant. I 
I'm not going to say I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I'm, I'm going to beat the dead horse. And what about the water? <laughs> yeah. uh, the water's fine. It's actually it's fine. <laughs> it's just easy to purify water as a wizard. It's so easy to do. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they just have, they have water elemental Swear. wizards. <laughs> they could just come and like, yes, this water is fine. I don't now. trust Ross's loose ends. <laughs> if <laughs> Laura died and died. No! Stronger. I mean, the last, I remember Your the first bodily time fluids. we had a loose end, the judge and the... <laughs> New Arcadia game. No, oh, yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's enough to, to sink the deal on its own. Like it's a huge they, scandal. They're lying. They're lying. Um, yeah, and yeah, you. Yeah, they, and I meant reiterate. Just to reiterate, the Tomorrow Legion would be behind you always. Well, that's something you can't really promise. Well, uh, but, well, like, I, you but, can try. You you could say it. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna say it like this: the Tomorrow like. Like, while we're here, we've never done things like that. Our support for you is not contingent upon you having an alliance with us. Yeah. Yes. So Riverton is still where they were before. At least they, yeah, aren't going to get drained and used as fuel for the yeah. the war machines of the Federation. We sent to Castle Refuge. Yeah. But uh, if you would like, if you would like to send some message back to the our back to our headquarters, we would take it with us. Yeah, of course. Well, uh, the the mayor can talk to the the your your head council mm-hmm. on on her own. But yeah, you, you did your mission. You didn't. You you, you win again. Uh, um, but, yeah, well, still, I, but, but, but you know what? Let's still let's still do the show of so, teleporting. But teams. as as you do that, you, you yeah, you bring in the people the next day. It's great. Everyone's happy, and yeah, everyone feels good. And then so you go back to Castle Refuge, and then mm-hmm. a week later, you get a message. Here here's something video that was shot uh, uh, at Riverton. It was from one of the tall buildings, the mayor's building, and it's a shot, a wide shot from one of the tallest buildings in town looking over the river and on the other side of the river in the distance there's there's sound on this video and you can hear the sounds of like trees knocking like miles away and then like something you see something in the dark in the shadows it's this like dusk or like evening twilight and you see something come out of the trees and it's this enormous monstrous metallic head it Zardoz. Is. Yeah, it is. It is a uh, well. It's connected to a body. It's a, it's it's a one of the constructs. It is like the size of a ten story building. It's like nearly a hundred feet tall. It is one of their. It's the largest size that anyone's seen before. It's you know, and it just kind of watches them for a bit, and then d- goes below the tree line again. And this is a tr- this is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Federation may not be doing it, at Riverton. But they'll be building that bridge somewhere. Mm-hmm. And they'll be coming with their war machines. And they may be deciding that Castle Refuge, they can take that out and then they can move straight into coalition territory. Because, you know, if they fight coalition, you could just attack them. So it's a nasty situation. But they, the people on Riverton also start reporting a lot more river monsters attacking the town and pe- travelers going missing outside of town and more things coming from the St. Louis Arch. So... Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have, looks like we're gonna have to go to work again. Yeah, <laughs> looks like things are escalating. Yep. Like Federation doesn't like losing all this time and they're trying to get gain in some way. But hey, yeah, yeah, I mean at least you kept the town from getting a bad deal and getting fucking mad. <clears throat> Did we at least have like a concert too? Like Oh uh, sure, yeah, you can have a concert, yeah. Yeah, actually, you know what, you could do a concert and raise some money and donate it to the militia. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. So yeah. Oh, did the mayor's <clears throat> the mayor's daughter get your sign? The sign down? Oh yeah, of course. No, yeah, yeah, of course not. Yeah. But yeah, you did it. I mean, yeah, you saved the town. Yeah, take, should... that, take that angry tomorrow legion people who sent us on this mission. Yeah. Well, they 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 love bringing out how Riverton is now facing retribution from the Federation. But you're like, well, like we accomplished. It's better than the alternative yeah, of the. It's town. better than draining the town for batteries. Yeah. Exactly. So, yay, heroes. But Just now you have intelligence one. officers, you can get Muse the leads at any mm-hmm. time now. Let's see, Lois and Hellslayer do come up with the new leads. We already did metal, by the way, the fucking Doomslayer one. What uh, happens to the four guys? Did they just keep them in Riverton? Or? Oh, yeah. They we offer a way to, like, take some of them in for information. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to do that, they, they but, yeah, they, 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 they'll give them to you. You can process them but they're hard cases you know especially the wizard and the sidekick we, so they're they're probably going to get executed for being yeah. spies yeah. we have ways there there's there's it's a wartime thing and they're not yeah. they don't have a way to keep oh, them I thought yeah. maybe we could get some information. oh yeah yeah you can you can take them the farm really will probably interrogate them and then execute them because again there's they're 
Federation agents and they're, yeah, it's a wartime. Uh, that's what you yeah. do with spies and saboteurs is you shoot them. Um, yeah, but you get some information from them, but that's not your, your that job. Changes. Your job is to find the muses. Yay. But I like, I had the idea that do more things for the town. And then it became, like, what are they up to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, swear to me. And that's fine too. Yeah. I do. It's the Federation of Magic. It's like, Either we're changing our tax. I thought it was going to be popular in Congress. She's like, no, we're fucking them over. No, because, well, it's yeah. the Federation of Magic. Like, well, I think they've changed their ways. Like, no. Yeah, they no, refuse they to haven't. Do that. They really haven't. Yeah. They're just getting sneaky. They, they are getting sneakier, but you, you but saw so it. are we. It's true. Sneakier or just. Uh, uh, or, better, or better at what we do. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you all for playing and thank you all for listening. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.